supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be working right now. But I'm not working. I'm doing nothing. My dick, I'm jerking. Myself, I'm sucking. I am an asshole. I am a stupid. We've been expecting your unwashed presence today, proud and noble vagrants and rabble-rousers. It seems as though you've made a mistake, a wrong turn perhaps? Fate remembers not such tribal details as the catalyst for its inauguration. For the fact rings as loud as ears would allow sans rupture, and you have found yourself in the Procrastinators Podcast. And here alongside me are internet content creators of the most twisted and tortured tribe of artistic triumph, inconceivable to your noble and prissy class. Yes, these culture of barbarians stand before you, and their ceaseless insp- advance will leave you shocked, bruised, battered, and railed against as we talk about that most lascivious of subjects, sexual intercourse. Today I have with me <laughs> Digi Broider. <laughs> Uh, yeah, get it in. Oh, <laughs> we have. Uh, I will assume Vincent, that was the Vincent, best guy. No, oh, no. Shit. Insane. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk Let's about talk you about and you me. And you guys remember the 90s? <laughs> no. And now it's the best guy ever. Uh, an extremely goofy movie was my sexual awakening. We have to <laughs> Invisible in cell and mythical MGTOW hypocrite here reporting for duty. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 now is... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 now, now as all children of the world and, and and Santa Clauses have wondered, what is sex? Well, well, I've gone to the highest power there is. I've committed suicide. I've gone to heaven. Just to get this one fact for you. The top definition for sex on UrbanDictionary.com is sex is like math. You add the bed, subtract the clothes, divide the legs, and pray oh, you don't multiply. Oh boy! I love Reddit. Hey-o. I love Reddit. All right, let me let me oh, kick fuck. back a cold one. As I as I unwind here, as you see, this is a pretty broad t- topic that could that could potentially span the entirety of human reproduction. And as a human, that's a pretty big deal. But a- as what I prepared for today is is the main crux here of what I of what I want to spread with you warped virtual vermin here. It, the, the, the question that, that people have jeered and sneered at my house for and and, and, and you know made fun of me for my, my completely legitimate beliefs. And and let's, let's cut the chase here. As, as all you know new listeners will pitifully think as ironic or pretentious, but longtime fans will know are all too real and contentious. Is sex good or is sex bad? Well, that's, that's I, the question I, I, I want to get at I here. have a question before I answer. Sure, I've sure, heard, sure. I've heard that when you have sex, you have to show the girl your penis. And if that's true, <laughs> I have to say, it must be pretty bad. Because that ben, just Mom sounds said you can't like say a sad, penis. Sad you gotta time. say pee-pee. <laughs> that's not... That's not I thought, okay. I thought sex was when the keyblades touch, but I'm not sure about the dual <laughs> keyblade. <laughs> wait, 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 hold, hold on. Ben, Ben, so, so, so if it's when you show a girl your dick, does that mean if there's two <coughs> boys, then it's fine? Well, yeah, guys guys can't see penises because they they look away. Like, guys <laughs> reflect the Lord look blinds away us yeah. from another Gu- penis. Guys, guys can't have sex. Mm-hmm. I mean, so, 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 maybe. It, I, don't, I have like a, I have like a, I have like a sixth sense dick detector that if there's like dick nearby, I can avoid it. Like, I, if I walk into a bathroom, I'm immediately aware of like how in danger I am of seeing it's anyone's like, dick. It's like it's like when you urinals. come into a room and you can hear that the TV is on even if there's no mm-hmm. volume. Yeah, it's like a high. Exactly. Exactly. It's like a okay, high. Like question. you can hear the presence of a visible yeah. dick. In is, the vicinity. Okay, exactly. so you have a special dick sense that most guys don't have. So you have I don't more know that most guys don't dick. have it. It allows me to avoid. I don't avoid. know that that's uncommon. I feel like lots of guys like are well, like constantly it, it, in don't see dick mode. I think you know? most well, it sounds people like all these, 
most uh-huh. men who go into the men's restroom know that there are men in there who have penises. Yeah. I think I've spent they, a lot of time in changing rooms, and I've spent a lot of time looking at men's dicks. And yeah. I, I just wanted to ask: Is it gayer or not gayer to have gayer. a specific dick aversion? Mm. Like, because no. like I just don't well, care. Okay. I've looked at a lot of dicks. I look what, at a lot what, more as my tastes go what, when on. When I go to the men's room, I specifically try and find trick shots and fucking sniper <laughs> viewpoints where I can see yeah. that guy's fucking dick without him realizing yeah. that I'm. God damn it! What you are Exactly what I'm afraid of. Digi, Digi, it's it's not my fault. Your dick's looking like a fucking snack right about now. It's not my fault. You gotta cover that shit up. <laughs> Yo, wrap that shit like a quiche for me, baby. I want to see that thing covered in smegma. That's what I'm all about. I, 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 want, you, I want you to stick a fucking toothpick for that ar- hors d'oeuvre right through your fucking urethra for me, babe. That's what I fucking need to I want to see a waiter walk out with a plate full of those snacks, you know. Just just spread them around to the whole high-class crew I, that we've gathered to I, sample. I will admit my flaccid cock looks exactly like one of those fucking little barbecue sausages. That they serve. <laughs> and, like, every time I eat one, I'm like, this is Sm- just- Smothered in barbecue sauce. Just yeah, smothered. the ones that you eat out of like a can with a fucking toothpick. You know what I'm talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Vienna sausage. Fucking order in order in the court. Let, 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 mm-hmm. let's, let's let's make the rounds here. Let's let's get the general statements first. What what are your general thoughts on sex, Nate? Is it is it good? Is it all good or is it all bad, Nate? Um, is it all uh, good or all bad? He asked me, Ben. Shut up. Uh, the <laughs> it is uh, okay. My thoughts on sex are. It is only acceptable in the missionary position for the sole purpose of reproduction. Th- these are my thoughts. I'm that's glad, I'm, that's I'm, it. I'm glad, I'm glad I picked you first. I'm glad that you're the first person <laughs> I, I picked. Indeed. D- Digi, is sex all good or is it all bad? It's all good for me, baby. Looking like a fucking <laughs> snack from where I'm sitting. <laughs> Hippo, is, is sex all good or is it all bad? Well, it depends on how far no, we define sex. No, no, is it sex. all good or is it all bad? Because no, but no, but because like I'm thinking, you can make a baby without having sex. True, right? Mm-hmm. So, it's like that's like what uh, that guy tried to do in the Silence of the Lambs when he just threw his jizz at that lady. You know, as she was walking by a cell. That's yeah, like how you do I think, it. <laughs> I think the way I see it is that making babies is pretty cool because babies are cute. But then sex is like a hassle, and I, you don't want to have to do it. It's, it's, it's a indirect. Big... It, it's it's not the most optimal prime position to have a baby. The prime position is just you know lobbing jizz at random women. The worst, I, I, I the worst part about sex is the burned calories that interfere with my gains. That is the biggest problem. It's, it's with just sex, a lot of red sure. tape you got to go through. That's mm-hmm. true. That's true. But, Nate, it, in order to it, it, re- retain that protein, mm-hmm. you should do a Nate of your own every time. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta do a Nate <laughs> right in not, your own mouth. No, that's a fucking <laughs> snack I'd like to eat. You know what I'm fucking saying? <laughs> glug, glug, glug. Ben, is sex good or is it all bad? Well, um, I'm very, um, my interest is peaked. Um, I'm very curious about the subject. <laughs> I'm very interested in learning more <laughs> one day, you Perhaps know, when I'm Perhaps one of you fine gentlemen could show me a thing or two. <laughs> Yeah, so, you know, I, I mean, but I'm, I'm prepared. I'm prepared for it to be bad, but I still kind of want to find out if you know what I'm saying. I mean, I'm risking to risk the danger someday, but not yet, because I'm a little baby I, boy. I, I, I would catch myself as a bad sexual where I only attract to things that make me feel bad. It, 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 hmm. To things to things that, that, are, that are consistent, uh, like, consensus considered bad things, like murder. I'm, I'm only attracted to things such as that. <laughs> Okay. 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 Like okay. Okay. Necrophilia. All right. All right. To, 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 okay. To ask myself that thing, I have a legendarily the controversial belief that sex is all bad, and mm-hmm. and, and, and I and I have ridden. I here. I I, I I posted in the in the chat. I have something like fucking like six uh, uh sixteen hundred words written out in my fucking notes. And like I have a fucking like lawyer. But like, I have like a like prosecution lawyer for fucking sex trial case right before me right now. Okay, Munchie, I need I, to just, I'm on a fucking I, I gotta I'm on ask, a hair twitch right now. Because to me, I feel as though when I hear you say sex is all bad, I just think you are objectively wrong because some people have are having good sex right now in the world so what what is bad about their sex like is yeah, is sex yeah. bad for like a higher reason than that it you know 
like you're not saying that all sex is bad to like it's not a bad time, but you're saying it's like morally bad, right? Maybe maybe Munchie's yes. one of these guys who's saying that like uh, you know like sex uh, can reproduce children and it's immoral to bring children into the world because they will suffer yeah. to some degree. I is think, that, I think part of your the, the idea yeah. is that sex is uh-huh. is not productive. Like it's not productive mm-hmm. in in a real way. Like it might make babies. Well, that's, but that's what I want to know. I mean, it's it's I, like as it, literally productive as you not, can possibly not if you do. <laughs> well, if you do it the right purpose it. that it's intended I hear. for. I, I, I want to know. Yeah, which it, is bad? Is it is it the recreational aspect that's bad? Is it the productive aspect that's it, bad? What's yeah? The, tell the, us. The, tell the, us. The problems with sex in two mm. words are society and time. In one okay. word, pressure. In a whole fucking bunch of words, again, 1,600 uh, words written down here. I, I'm ready to fucking, like, Roman senator, go as hard as fucking Ken Ham, as a fucking mother bleeper here. Okay, well. The Lester screenplay at a moment's notice. So, so Well, let's get into it. Argument ar- one. Argument one. What's, ar- what's wrong? Number with? one. Society. Hmm. Sex is okay. one of, if not directly, society's main measure of wealth and status. It is mm. the root, mm. the what about, starting point. What about wealth money? and status? Yeah, what about what? those two? Yeah, I, well, about, those well, are all... I'm, I'm with Munchie here. It is all in yeah. pursuit of Wait, sex, basically. No, no yeah. one, well, okay, everyone in the world understands that Bill Gates is the richest man and the most successful man in the world. I don't no think one, that's it's Jeff Bezos. No it's one Jeff Bezos knows, now. Don't. There is, okay, whatever. There's never been a time that <laughs> Bill Gates has had to be on TV with a hot chick to prove to people that he's the richest and most successful man in the world. Like, he's never, his wife is just some normal-looking lady. Like, he's never had to be like, oh, fucking, I'm banging a supermodel. This is the ultimate show of wealth. We all know he's the most wealthy because he has the most money. So money is by far the biggest show of, like, fucking status in the world. Well, uh, and, on and, a biological and what do you attra- level. And what do you attract when you have money and wealth? You attract sex. But you don't yeah, have no, no, to much take is it. Right. Bill Gates you, you didn't ask have yourself, fuck a bunch of random girls just because I mean, he got I mean, rich. I, I mean, I think, the, I, I think people like i think people admire if they think that like you could have sex like you don't have to actually do exactly it. But, but like that's if, exactly if, right if they, if they detect that like you couldn't even main... if you wanted to then people, that's bad people i don't think people look up to rich people because they think they get laid all the time because you don't have to be rich to get laid all the time what you have to be rich to do is to fucking own the world to well, have like you're, you're real power and influence well, what you know? does it mean to even owe the world like if oh. you okay the, the whole point of this is what is the measure of a successful human being and yeah. from our origin by Biologically speaking, what a successful human being was, was, I mean, for guys, let's just say, a successful man was someone who impregnated lots of people and passed along his genetic code. That was success right, for that person that that's evolutionarily. Not, like, that is not what we as a society, like, we don't think, oh, the most successful guy is fucking Ron Jeremy I, because he's fucked the most well, girls. He, subconsciously, you know? we do. Subconsciously, it's the people with the well, power to reproduce. Maybe, maybe you do. Pick him. Did, did you, uh, would it's, you not... It's not a, would you not say that sex is one of society's main measures of wealth and status? Because I mean, that, yes, that's it what is, my sentence was. It is cert- I thought you said it was the most. No. I, that's what I heard. I, I, I said one six, of. sex is one of, if not. Oh, right. well, it's okay. not. Okay. It is okay. not. It well, is just okay. one of. It, one of okay sure thank let's continue that was the first sentence i said <laughs> i would argue it, that the concepts of sex and death like are the root drivers of everything that human beings yeah, do that, as a, like money is garbage that. money is to to have no sex. i agree That's that it's for. the drive of everything we do it's just not how mm-hmm. we measure success like it's not the number one way that our society measures success that well is it, money. it's like the root thing you know? it's like Christ. saying that like yeah we're the, already the fact- in the weeds here we're already <laughs> getting caught up on on minutia and pedantic fucking semantics here it's not we're, pedan- we're already this, is this is the meat this is the real shit uh, well, okay well, whatever it's it's an important issue related to all this but okay much yeah. go on Go on, what else you got? I, 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 again, again, I, I'm with you. Now. Is the, the root? The, it, it, it's the the starting point of major and vast social contracts. It, it, it's it's the root of a whole. Most of the shit we do is for sex. To be bad at sex or to be considered unattractive is synonymous with being undesirable, unwanted, and you are literally losing life by not reproducing. It is the subject of many sure. heated debate and is like like one of the most sought after concepts in all of life as we know it. In all of like like multicellular life 
is is to fucking have sex. That's it. That that's the lens I'm viewing everything from. That that's a starting point from. Okay, just, just I'd like to expand is... on sure, sure, on the sure. on the thing I said earlier about like mm-hmm. making babies without sex. Uh, this is sort of tying into that in that uh the 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 need for society in in society to have had and be having sex all the time at, at least enough uh is like a big pressure and if uh if baby making was entirely like a scientific you just go to a place you get a baby like that would make that less of a problem I think I, I think I think I baby think should come out of the scientist place, and <laughs> sex should be uh, not real. Th- th- then you could do eugenics it, without it being having to be uncomfortable to well, say that you like eugenics. Well, well, well. Here's well. Here's what I think. I think that I think that like not the having of sex, but the ability to have sex is like like if you wanted it is like an indicator mm-hmm. of of power and like the ability yes. to to like you know the ability to like do what you want and like not that be is impeded. That's definitely true. And and so like yeah, like I don't know, <laughs> if you see if you see a guy and you're like, "Oh man, I bet that guy could get laid." That's like, you know, like that's one thing that's like, "Oh, well he's oh, yeah. he's got that go- I, like he's I, he's powerful I, in mm-hmm. that way." It's mean, like, let's, "Oh, let's this guy's got a lot of money. Oh, he he could afford a lot of stuff. He's powerful yeah. in that other way." I, mm-hmm. I mean, there's no mm-hmm. need to fucking like look at look at it past uh, past the just like you know the frat level. Just like like don't don't you don't you agree that like when you see someone who fucks a lot, that's like oh wow cool. Do, do you do you not have that thought in your mind? Do you, do yeah. you not think like wow? Yeah, that, yeah. That, we that's all do. What, that's I what think. I'm saying here. Is, is that level. It, it, it has it has, it, has, it has social currency. Sex is social currency. That's yes. true. Correct. And, and 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 as such, I think that it is undeserving of 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 this. What would I call it? this this stature, this this status in the world? I do not think it is deserving of this for multiple reasons. Number one is is that while like like the main uh, I guess appeal of sex outside of making babies, which I is not really a main thing in like culturally. That's not the the main thing people have sex for. Do, do you guys agree? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mostly. It, yeah. It, Wait, it, I'm sorry. You're saying that it's not. Uh, say, say that again. I'm trying to parse what you just said. It, it, pe- people have sex because it feels good, right? That, that's that's yes, the main. Correct. Yeah. And yeah. well, I, I would. I think a lot of people have sex the main again, like for those social reasons, because like having I, sex makes okay. them cooler guys. I well, think. Sure, that I, is what I, I, I do. I, think I do. It, that people <laughs> have sex because they feel an incredible tugging urge to do it at all times. Yeah, it that, really, that, that's exactly yeah. like, right. that's I don't think people yeah, have con- I don't think people have sex as a consequence of knowing that it feels good. Like we know mm-hmm. it is supposed to feel good, but like you want to like you know, until you have sex, if you're, you well, know, like some of us who didn't have sex till we were well into our 20s and mm-hmm. wanted it since we were fucking 10, then, like, yeah. you've spent a lot of time just obsessing over it, not even knowing that it feels good or how good it does feel or, like, mm-hmm. what it's going to be like. It's just, like, yeah. this yeah. insatiable yeah, fucking urge to have it pr- tr- drives you towards it. You it's know? it's, yeah, it's, it's fucking... ingrained deep into your brain, and yeah. and... I would argue we should surgically remove that. Literally every <laughs> human generation. Okay, here's why you guys are all wrong, especially you, Munchie, and it also, okay. also Gib. Uh, every generation of human being that has existed up till now has obviously passed on the trait of wanting to have sex because sex is good, because that is how the human race the, the human race has evolved. And it is the desire to have sex that, uh, and you know, and the the fact that the human race is divided into two sexes, male and female, it to promote genetic diversity that has allowed the mutations that allows you know like mammals to evolve into to apes into human beings like it's it all exists for the very specific purpose of uh genetic mutation so that or, or genetic diversity so that the best of the best rise to the top and the problem right now is that we are no longer living in a darwinian system and now everything is d- just done like pure because humans are like so software driven as opposed to hardware driven now like society dictates how we do things like now you just fuck hot guys as opposed to you know like the best fathers just as like one example um yeah. it's completely changed the way this whole thing works works but we've still got these archaic things beat into us i personally think that we're better well, off in a more I, darwinian you know, system than we I, are I, now I, I don't disagree with that i, don't, I wasn't mm-hmm. arguing against that at all you know nate i want to um I well, you were argue, saying that it's wrong i actually okay. think we the, might the, be the, getting hold on I, I actually think we might be getting better about hmm. like finding 
better matches for people, and this is why mm-hmm. like online dating has taken off so much. Is Sponsored that... by eHarmony.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah. None of those Please. have ever worked for me. I, I, yeah. my method was get famous enough for people to fucking message you, you know. But like, <laughs> either way, it's it's still online dating, and like, Same. like I think that the reason it's so popular is that people are dissatisfied with like finding like just whatever's in their local it like like i feel like we've expanded um the gene pool in a way where it's like some of us who are born yeah. in this new yeah. generation are not meant to fuck within our town because we've grow we've developed a system of beliefs that only really exists in the internet space you know like the kind of people that we are especially guys like us who spend a lot of time online like mm-hmm. we need to have like a mate who understands the internet because like the kids that we're gonna have are gonna be like super fucking plugged into that and as technology you know improves I'm plugged in oh yeah i'm just saying like <laughs> for all we know by the time we like all our kids are like 10 they might be rolling out like oh money microchips in your hands and shit and like we need to be yeah, able to yeah. like i need a mate who's up and up on technology so that when we have to teach our kids about computers you're not a fucking retard about computers because that's going to ruin our kids future every kid needs to grow up learning coding you know my kid's going to know coding by the time they're 10 you know do you plan do you plan on blocking websites from your kid um, I mean, if he's, like, five, I should put on, like, a adult mode, you know? Like, mm-hmm. most most electronic devices have some kind of, like, here, sw- hit this button and only kid-friendly stuff appears, you know? Mm-hmm. So I'd probably mm-hmm. do that until I thought they were, like... I mean, if they get old enough to figure out the internet, there's nothing I can do to stop them. Like, nothing stopped me or any of you, you know? Yeah. Like, once, yeah. we, once we got into the open, wide internet, we just found everything we wanted to find, so... Mm-hmm. um. You know, there's no stopping them, but you have to get to a certain age before you even have like the cognitive capacity to do that. You know, I I, I, I feel like this this is this is again off a, a topic, but but I feel like uh, there might be some duty as parents to not let your kid be a role player. <laughs> I, I feel Very like... personal issue for you, I know. <laughs> yeah, we can't let another one fall to that. Yeah, I I, I feel like. Uh, there are some websites that, that I'm torn on, on possibly banned, but that, that's it. We, we can do an entire entire topic on a child. Oh, good idea. And, and Let's parenting. do a banned websites episode. Yeah, we yeah, delete yeah. The bad websites ones. we won't let our kids. YouTube.com <laughs> slash no, number the one procrastinators. procrastinators.com. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> we need to wait till we are actually dads. Then we can do some shit like that. Like, it'll be fun to do one before being a dad and then after being a dad. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. Too. Well, all right, yeah. all right. To get back on topic, did you, <laughs> what you just said about how, like, like, uh, like it's it's not like you're choosing to get horny. You you never just like mm. think, okay, yeah. it, like it's time for me to get horny. Boner happen well, now, please. Uh, some, sometimes that I I mean, if I'm bored, then that's literally what I do. Oh, well, most people well, I don't think hey, that's their experience with sexuality. I mean, well, it's it's, it's yeah. your it, it's your decision to go look at things that will make you horny. You yes. can't turn it on yes, without yes. any stimulus. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I yeah. can think about things that'll make me horny. Well, but, that's that's you, know. you searching for it still yeah it's searching, searching in the memory archive of brain. the mind yeah, yeah. <laughs> that 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 vast mental fortress they called the digicranium yes yes <laughs> um uh fucking yeah yeah it this is a biological cancer that is forced upon every human and and and, and, and just just to clarify the mm-hmm. the is sex all good is all sex bad like like obviously that is a meme point my my more nuanced actual thesis is is that sex is placed too highly uh, status wise in culture for in culture it, you're it, saying in culture I, you know i don't yes. think the problem okay. is culture i think the problem is that it's it's got too it just has too much of a hold over our minds like it's just that our minds yeah, are exactly. like are geared in such a way that like all we we the, it's it's weird actually because humans their reproduction cycle is super fucking slow it takes nine whole months to have a baby and after you've uh had it you can't you have another one for like a couple more months so like mm-hmm. the better part of like you can basically have one kid a year and so it doesn't really make sense that the dick gets hard like eight times a day 
Like, you're not really meant to be out impregnating fucking everyone, because you'll narrow the gene pool if, like, one guy is having babies with every fucking chick. So it doesn't make sense that we want to have sex as often as we do. And then there's some people who are like... Wouldn't wouldn't it make a drive for, like, you know, early man to want to have sex all the time so it creates a a better... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We're talking about what makes sense. I I I keep getting confused if we're talking about early man or if we're talking about, like, now for society. No, it made sense at a time... But mm-hmm. it doesn't make okay. sense now because, okay, like, sure. Okay, sure. we don't – like, you know, women are not scarce the way they were back then probably. Right. You know, like, right. you didn't have to – like, you didn't need a constant drive to be seeking one out or trying to, like, capture and, like, you know, mm-hmm. fucking inseminate one. Like, mm-hmm. nowadays mm-hmm. – it's like most people just settle down with one woman and they've got like – like she can have as many babies with you as you want her to have, you know, or as they as you yep. agree well, to I have mean, together. You as know? you agree like, to have. I mean you can probably convince her to have as many as you <laughs> like, Well, It's maybe. real easy to convince a woman to have another baby if you like act I mean, like – if you can like give her like maybe. a sob story as to I, why – How many of you convinced to have a baby so far, Digi? Uh, no, none yet, but I know how okay. easy it is. Like, <laughs> How do you yeah, know that? How do you know that? <laughs> What? What's why do you say that? Have what you is ever, your plan? I don't get it. You, all you got to do is be like, oh, but like, please, but we, uh, like, like, please. okay, let's say you've got, let's say you've got eight, and she's like, to nine please. is too many. It, well, I can't, I guess after like four, at that point, you're just like, oh, why not have more? And they'd probably be like, yeah, I can't even keep track of them at this but, point. But, but anyways, like, a woman so. has to go through like nine months of pregnancy. Like that's yeah, it's like you're a gonna like, you know, ordeal for them. I mean, at yeah. some point, you just get used to being pregnant most of the time. What did you have? You what never even you know what a pregnant person is. All right, think about that lady, the 18 and counting lady. Like, that bitch was pregnant That's like, one most bitch. Of her life. That's one fucking piece of she shit. She seemed to be asshole, having a g- great time, woman. though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I actually have no problem with her whatsoever. Yeah, I'm just no, memeing. I'm, but, just, uh, I'm also memeing, and I don't remember what the what hell a, I was actually oh. talking about anymore. <laughs> well, what a wonderful <laughs> use of everyone's time this <laughs> yeah, has been. <laughs> Why yeah. is sex bad? Tell me more. I keep trying, but did she she's coming in with non sequitur? that completely derailed the discussion <laughs> midway through one sentence no, after I, one sentence. Okay, well, so, I was so making far. a point and I just told a joke and then everybody like latched onto the joke and I well, expanded uh, okay, on it. Okay. So okay, I, I, I've I, lost I, track I'm, of what I was actually saying. I'm, I, I'm, I'm saying that sex will hijack your mind in situations oh, where yeah. you will not want this. You could be at a funeral. Okay. You could be at a baby shower. You could be at your own funeral, and you would still get Munchie, a bone. Okay, I, I, I think I've got a fundamental problem with your arguments here. Okay, okay, now, I think your point is perfectly valid, but here's where I just hit a stopping point. Like, this is Star just how many— it was Starfleet. No, actually, this is kind of the opposite of Starfleet. It's just like, this is just how humans are. So what good does it do to talk about how mad we are about just how we humans are? We can get it are? rid of it with robot uh, splicing. Well, you know, we can splice well, it right out. We can yeah, splice yeah. that shit. We can download an, a patch update and, you know, get the they, DLC they, for our human consciousness. I, I, and I think I, actually it would help a lot if we, I think part of mm-hmm. the problem right now is everyone's really overstimulated in modern okay, society. Okay. That, like, there I, is such easy access to pornography and you can yeah, watch, like, mm. I definitely think that I grew up, like, with way too much access to, like, sex. Because, mm. like, I'm fucking, I feel like I'm horny all the fucking time, like just nonstop. And it's always been this way. It's not just, it's not just now. (laughs) Like I've always just been like wanting Uh to fucking jack my dick all day. Everybody knew this. Sure. As much as you know, this is deep. Like you listen to the pub crawl. I used to talk about how much I jack off all the time. I've I've listened to one episode of the pub crawl. (laughs) I thought you, I thought you listened to, you told me you listened to like everything I'd ever done. Yeah. I specifically said besides the pub crawl, crawl. he's the pub crawl is shit. I specifically said that. <laughs> like well, pub crawl is great. Anyways, I okay, used to. Okay. I, you know, I've just feel I, like I I've always saying. been uh-huh. over sex, and it's mostly because of overexposure to like. I'm fucking constantly surrounded by like posters of sexy anime girls and fucking mm-hmm. I'm always on A well, and they're always posting porn on A and they're always p- I'm just saying that like Human the internet is just know. constantly inundating you with like images of sex and like society okay. if I watch TV for long enough I'm gonna see like an ad with some fucking hot chick in it and I'm gonna be like well I've got a boner now like uh, uh, you did know, you, I absolutely I absolutely uh, see where you're coming from with this but where I immediately hit a brick wall for myself is what can possibly be done? 
What could okay, anyone no, do? Just, that Nate, Nate, shit. He, 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 here, here is what I, yeah. I, I think I'm not communicating well. Is, is okay. My point is not to just stew on the fact that, like, wow, mm-hmm. We, mm-hmm. we are like this. Isn't it bad? And, and we need to abolish sex. That's not what I'm trying mm-hmm. to say. Mm-hmm. I'm saying that we place too much emphasis on sex. And I think it will do some good to look at the negatives of sex to kind of knock it down a notch in our minds so we can better conquer it. You and, know, and so it you know, maybe, maybe you're talking about how, like, right now, like, at college, it's like a big meme that everyone goes to college and just like fucks like crazy like that's mm-hmm. like a cultural phenomenon so you're saying that like it might be better if we just we we don't emphasize that so much maybe our maybe our like our movies stop stop lionizing like these guys who just fuck like crazy like yeah. in these college movies like like things of exactly. that sort exactly oh, okay okay I that, gotcha. that, that, we, I gotcha. that, that it just stops become it stops being such a federal fucking issue to, for, I, for all things related to sex w- w- if i can you just plant a flag too little you know it, if I can plant a flag on in my stance, I think nobody will be surprised by this. But I personally, uh, I have a lot of sex. I do. I had a, a large amount of sex yesterday and today, and it was great. But I really am not that interested. <laughs> you beat me to like doing that bit, like. I, I thought I was going to be the one like obnoxiously bragging about having too much sex. Well, no, they, I, I bring like, it because it's relevant to my point, goddammit, not because I'm just trying to <laughs> that's brag. That's why I thought it would come up. And everyone's just like, oh, but if I had done it that way, even if it was for my well, point, that's because, everyone would have been like, oh, did you, you talk about you sex? Are the boy, you are the boy who cried, I had sex. I am not that boy. I am I am a yeah, good boy earned, who does you not. You waited. Yeah. You, you fucking sat exactly. there. You sat there like the intro of that Slipknot song that's like, I felt the end. Yeah, rise up in me. You're like, you're sitting there, like, peering from the bushes, waiting it, it, for the chance. It's more like that. It's more like the intro to song that's like, da 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 da. Do you feel that? Da 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 da. Oh, shit. Da 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 da. I care about this intellectually. I care about this topic. I want you to say what you were going to say. All right. Well, here, what I was going to say was that even though I have, I have access to sex right now, it's great. I do it a lot. It is. It does not provide any practical benefit to the things I'm trying to accomplish in my life, mm-hmm. other than kind of just satiating my base level human needs. Mm-hmm. And for that reason, I totally understand. Like I personally, I, I went through a big dry spell for years uh, recently, and that sucked. But now, now that I have it, I no longer give a shit. Yeah. Uh, like, I don't spend any time like stewing on it. It is just I have a check box. I have a. I had what was previously an unchecked box that is now a checked box for sex. It's done. It is handled in my life and I can now move on to all the other stuff that I want to spend my time on and make progress on every day. That's how yeah. I feel. And I feel like it's, culture should treat it that way. It's just I, something you got to deal with. Like it's it's based. It's yeah, like it's yeah, like go, yeah, go when, when people, you know, they, they, they say that like sex is only a big deal if you're not having any because if you're not having sort of. any, you're going to yeah. start to feel like, you know, something's wrong and you're missing something. Mm-hmm. And oh, God, oh, God. Um, and then you get it, and it's like, well, it wasn't that big a deal, and there are more important things. You know, it's just, it's just something yeah, that I've you gotta deal. With. Like, I don't know um, if I feel that way. I've well, always okay. Okay. felt like, uh, if I could, if there was like a hypothetical situation where I could have a partner for life mm-hmm. without worrying about the sex, the sex aspect, I probably would. Like, like you mean if, just if, like if you sex could wasn't not real. fuck? Oh, if I, it wasn't real, okay. No, if okay. it wasn't a real thing, and I could just like I could I could marry a person that I like to hang mm-hmm. around with, because you know, not nice people don't always have the big sex parts, and if yeah. you don't <laughs> get a person that oh, you like who also has the big sex parts, then. Then I like a bitch with a like... big old vagina. I'm talking <laughs> beaters, <laughs> down to her I, knees, I, my dude. I, I, you know I want what a girl mean, with a clip the size of a volleyball. That's what, that's what <laughs> I want. Yeah. Oh I want to beat that thing around like a boxing bag. <laughs> I'm, gonna just throw up. I'm going to throw I'm going to throw up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know those boxing montages? You know those montages? You know those boxing montages? You know those boxing montages? You that thing, like doing a spiral motion? That's me, boy. That's me every time. I want to chomp down on my girl like a French dip. I'm gonna dip that shit in Oswe sauce, and I'm gonna take a Yo, huge old okay, bite re- of that. Okay, real quote, real, real quote from a friend of my girlfriend. Uh, when I go down on a girl, I want something to bite onto. <laughs> referring to pubic hair. Uh, referring to pubic hair. Uh, okay, yes, um, this is real. Settle down, Boy. children. Um, okay. What I was saying is <laughs> that. <laughs> um. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I don't know what I'm saying. Oh no! Wait wait wait! wait, 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 wait. Okay, all right, all right. Um, 
You were going on like, about beef curtains, sex, I believe. That's yes. Uh, like sex is like people either have the body they I mean, usually like they just mm. get a good sex body that is like sexually attractive, but they may be IVs. a terrible person that you don't like. And if you marry that person, you will have a like you you'll be like a baby boomer. You'll be every old person ever. Uh, you'll be okay. unhappy you'll be... and you won't oh, like oh. them. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, exactly you're, just, you're describing describe you're describing me, hippo, person. a person with a great sex body and a terrible personality that you. You don't like <laughs> I, I would, exactly. I, I would kind but, of ch- uh, well, okay. But like, if, point, if, if sex bodies weren't part of it, or either if you could augment your body really easily, but that's it's expensive. If sex wasn't as big a deal, you could just worry about getting to a, with a person that you mm-hmm. like and want to spend time with, and then marriage makes a lot more sense. And it's mm-hmm. not even a big deal. I would like, I would like I mean, to hug and cuddle people. I just don't <laughs> care about all the the squishy shit. Well, you can do that now. You know, you can just not. I know I can care. do that now. It's just uh, th- th- that's what the whole discussion is about. It's societal well, pressure. Yeah. You constantly well, think about the way, sex. The, I, I would slightly object to the idea that like you're just born as you are and you have to be that way forever. Because you know I'm a big self improvement guy. So I, I sure. like unless you're born with like a cataclysmically tiny dick or you know <laughs> like something cataclysmic. Cataclysmically. <laughs> Cataclysmically. That's the right word for it. Uh, unless you have like some actual physical defect. The, like the if you're just like a fat under guy. the weight of the tininess. <laughs> of the, of, of the I just, absence I just, of weight what I, of this what, what I mean by that is that I just yeah. wish I didn't feel certain ways about people who were attractive or not. I wish I could just see people for mm-hmm. their personalities. Mm-hmm. It's not possible okay. because, you know, a I, person is yeah. made up of everything Nate, about them, but yeah. it's I, a yeah. nice... Did you know, Nate? Nate. My, 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 whole point, my whole point is this. Oh, but you will just look, My one point about this is just that like i understand all the frustration with sex it totally makes sense but life i think it's appropriate that has intense extremely brutal back-breaking struggles that we have to overcome if we want to get where we're at well that that means life will be full of suffering but when you achieve it uh you're just a better person for it and that's that's how i think about life a lot of, it's the whole uh uh well, don't wish for lighter burdens wish for broader shoulders i, I think that's uh, my, that's my approach I yeah. think uh, between Hippo and Munchie, we've touched on what I think is a solution for how mm. sex can be handled in culture, which is simply to educate people better on, like, what what sex feels good. Because I think You're talking there's... about dating ed classes, press proposed by Christian Weston oh, Chandler. Oh, yeah, even though the uh, idea yeah. sounds dated. <laughs> <laughs> his, joke. His, his joke, not mine. Oh Got my him. god, that's a good what, one. What, what, what about um. uh, what about dating Ed with two D's, double D? My my favorite Ed and Eddie character, who oh. I thought was a girl and who I had a crush on because oh, I thought they whoa, were a girl. Boy, Uh-oh. Boy. Ladies, get off your butts and date him. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I think yeah. there needs to be more like education on like because uh, basically all we tell kids is like here's how to have safe sex, here's the problems mm. with sex, try not to have sex when you're young, we need but to you're more going dangerous to dangerous sex. So instead, what we should tell them is like, hey, nah. guess what? Mm-hmm. If you go to some like random party and get drunk and fuck some random guy, you're probably mm. gonna regret it in the morning. Well, it, However, if you find someone who you really genuinely care about who's gonna take care of you, it might actually feel good. So Do you know the reason for this? You should Do you know the reason for this problem? That's good, you know. Religion. For, forgive me for going full anarcho-capitalist it is, it here. Is totally, yeah. But he, here's the problem. It's that uh, society, at least in America, has ab- like parents have abdicated the responsibility of raising their kids to, to school. like schools and the yeah. state in a huge degree. And so, I mean, in my life, not to shit on my dad, but I really felt like there was a lot of things about how to be a man that I just never knew until like Same. I looked into like pickup culture in like my my late teens and twenties, and then I learned I, like how to be a man. The only reason I know anything about sex is that I watched yeah. so much fucking porn, and I literally yeah. would ask well, women online about their sex lives. Like, hey, baby, did you order a sausage pizza? <laughs> Works every time. Well, every it, time. I mean, if you watch fucking like. Try to watch the porn that doesn't feel fake, and then you you'll be like, oh, okay, that's what actually. Oh, you know, sex uh, like. gangbang, rape, I, I uh, abduction, re- dungeon. No, I, yeah, I literally <laughs> remember the first time I ever saw like an amateur porn and was like, oh, yeah. real sex looks like that. Oh, yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. totally different from what I thought it looked like. That is good know? to know. That is good to um, know. But None like, of that Brazzers shit. You know, I would just like find people online that I could talk to 
and like ask them mm-hmm. questions about like what was it like the first time you had sex like what is it like this and like just learn about it from asking people because like no one taught me the right information that everyone I wanted needs to know, a, you know? A, a, a an American Pie style Kamina older brother guy who they can ask what sex feels exactly. like and how to do it everyone needs a guy like I think that that's important. every guys do at least and I I, uh-huh. I mean I'm definitely someone who like passed that kind of information on to like my you know. Like, mm-hmm. t- like I'm gonna tell my brother, like, yeah, turns out sex is great. You should go try to have sex with that girl who you might mm-hmm. want to have sex mm-hmm. with. You're you know, gonna like... tell this to Victor, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I probably did tell him that um, after the first time I had sex. You know, I was probably mm-hmm. like, you gotta, you gotta try this for yourself. Like, I mean, Shade beat us both to the punch, so like we already Hilariously. knew right. that someone <laughs> in the family was fucking, you know, thought it was cool. But, you know, uh, like, if Grace was a guy, in fact, she probably, well, I, I don't know. I was just going to say, like, our sister kind of became is. an independent person just, like, before Ben or I. She totally like, did. Like, either of us did. And I don't yeah, know she how totally it happened. Did. Um, she, just, she just, like, I don't know. She just felt like she wanted to be out on her own and then just became, like, an independent adult. I yeah. don't know. Yeah. My little it. brother's the same. I think it's just a mm-hmm. maybe a different, like, generation. Or maybe it's, like, uh, he has experience because I'm the older brother and he just yeah. had a, a head start in his life about, like, That's how he I knew what him. I knew I mean, when I knew it. Like, our sister always had younger. more of a, a like, a, a adverse reaction to, like, like, she didn't like... Like being in our parents' house. Ha- I mean, she, you know, it wasn't like a huge problem or anything, but she always like resisted more of like our parents' control and like Ben and I weren't happy about it's, it and stuff. It's weird. But she like, had that desire, that urge to be free and yeah, be on her like, own. Yeah, like I, know? I hated living with our parents. Like I hated. But it we intensely. didn't have the spark to do anything. But I, about but I didn't. It. Not, yeah, I didn't yeah. do anything about it. Um, yeah. Whereas Grace, like apparently, like she was so into getting out of there, like as fast yeah. as she could, and then she did. But she's like way tighter with the parents than than I mean, at least than I am. Yeah, it's interesting. She like hangs out with them. Yep. Which I don't get at all. I mean, that's how you that's how you leave the house. Like that's how yeah. you do that's how you ease yeah. your way out so your parents don't question it cuz they'll just be like you if they see enough of you anyway. I think that's how I got away with fucking just taking fucking May away cuz I just kind of mm-hmm. showed up out of nowhere and after like 3 weeks moved into a place with her and like Yeah. But like her parents are right there like her work was next to like her dad's house so it was like she'd go there all the time for lunch and so it didn't feel like she's gone like she's yeah, got kidnapped yeah. by some internet guy you know like <laughs> that'll ease the transition yeah mm-hmm. it's a good uh, way uh, to uh, make them not you know afraid oh hold on fucking okay 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 cease fire just give me like five minutes don't interrupt me okay. because here's here's the, here's the main thing i want to get on I, 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 you know, I can talk all day about how, you know, uh, we, 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 we should, you know, se- sex is not like that, like that pressurable. It's, it's like a minimal, like fleeting high that you get, you know, yada, 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 mm-hmm. whatever the fuck. Here's the main thing. Here, here's number two time. Here's my main problem with sex. Sex takes up so much fucking time. Is not radical That's my to say, biggest problem or, with sex too. Did you, so I'm mm. actually did you on your just side. hear no. my words? Did you just hear me say that I wanted you to be quiet for maybe just five it's minutes while I read podcast. my script it's that I've been writing all night that I could do for this one podcast? Do you not think you can be quiet for five minutes? Here we go. Sex takes up. It's not <laughs> radical to say that it takes like maybe like a fifth of your life. It's not hard talking mm-hmm. about the sheer genocidal amount of time you're wasting thinking about. Wait, sex. can I ask a question? Can I ask one oh question? My fucking God. Is, is is are you talking about sex or like <laughs> pursuit of sex? I, you'll I, explain. You'll, you'll you'll see. Because okay, you'll, all right. Just, yeah, just wait. Just wait. <laughs> I will. I, I will understand. Say, I will. No, I'll come. no, this okay. is not. I just want to this is not open right, right, right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Answer. Okay. Ben, No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, on average, have masturbated two times a day for the past six months, or around thirty mm. minutes each. That's an hour every day. <laughs> Assuming there's three days mm. in a month, that mm. is thirty hour. That is thirty hours each month. That's hundred and twenty hours in six months. I have wasted a work week of my life in the past six mm. months. Of Obtain the basic, uninspired, bland, boilerplate, cheap, flaccid, unremarkable thrills <laughs> that I've had a million times before. And it's not even to, that's not even talking about the real thing, which is way longer mm. than three mm. minutes. And that's not even talking about the immeasurably holocaustic years we spend attracting people to have sex with. The uh, hours okay, we spend okay. putting on makeup, buying uncomfortable clothes, practicing our pickup skills. Nate, Nate, how much time mm. did you spend in Japan practicing your woman craft? Co- confidence and life skills and this is, this is not craft. 
I, I call woman Mancy. Woman Mancy. Is yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah. Woman mm-hmm. Mancy. The, the, this is not like the hard <laughs> shit thing. I'm, I'm just saying, like, like it, it's, mm-hmm. it's not for that you. You have spent thousands of hours of your life dedicated to to pursuing sex. Is, is that mm. inaccurate to say? Well, uh, th- that is fairly accurate, and the only thing I would say is that I think that these skills are related to lots of other valuable things sure. that I discovered in sure. pursuit. But okay, but that is true. That is, yeah, that is true. I, I, yeah, I, I just said confidence. Okay, I don't think I skills. spent I, like I any to... time in my life at all pursuing sex. Uh, uh, uh. What about mm, masturbating? That okay, counts, doesn't okay, it? Okay, okay, yeah, that counts. Okay. You you yeah. know what I spent thousands of hours doing. Playing Team Fortress 2. Yeah, I play yeah. that game and get the most powerful, direct dopamine stimuli in the moment, and I can constantly reflect fondly on his genius level design and art style. Not only that, but the fondest memory I have are playing that game with my friends, forging unbreakable alliances. That's <laughs> that's the problem with sex, is that you spend your time okay. wasting away, literally no. and metaphorically no. twiddling no. your clit, waiting to have sex, <laughs> are hours you could be playing you are a not game, trying to tell me. That Team Fortress 2 is better than sex. I literally no. am. I literally am. I, I literally am saying that. I there's <laughs> no video game I enjoy as much as I like having sex. I will the, put that down. There's no I I can't think of anything I'd rather be doing. I mean, it depends. <laughs> there, 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 there's there's a video game believe me, I'm not the, saying this lightly. Like, I have period. had the conversation in my head while having sex. Is this actually better than Dark Souls? And the I answer mean, is yes. <laughs> and I, mean, I ran three different tests. I, I mean, the skill I floor is so low for sex. sex. It's incredible. That was less yeah, enjoyable than I would have rather been playing high. video games. That is a real thing. <laughs> What's okay, okay the, the okay, the problem with sex is the same problem with Mario Odyssey. All the rewards are the same level. Like it, you get a moon that, yeah. for everything. You never get any higher rewards than just a moon. It gets that boring after true. a while. They, they, Done. They that mean, that's literally true. That's literally <laughs> not, true. Like, not you make it out like well, like sex of. is just go until you come and then you're done. Like you can do other things. Like it doesn't have well, yeah, to be about course. achieving the same like the you don't have to just be trying to get that same well, reward. But there's only so much you can get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. W- 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 keep trying, w- man. Else? Keep finding new w- w- ways. W- w- man. What, what do you tell me? There's some sort of secret I alternate nut. Th- 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 there's I mean, a secret, secret like alternative nut. come. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I feel, feel like alternate knowing nut. Oh my god. Cum. I want the butt. The cum. Where am I gonna get my butt? butt? <laughs> Look, there's, what there's gonna come out of my butt, dude? How do I how do I achieve that? Tell me how. Emotional nut. It's the emotional. I'm stimulating my butt a lot. This this whole podcast, I've been stimulating my butt, and I've yet to butt come. Please help me. Please teach me. There's a lot of ways that you can come emotionally. But what about my butt come though? That's the only one I care about. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We're talking about alternate nuts, Ben. Keep the fuck up. I don't did even you? know what a nut right. is. <laughs> I, 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 oh, feel I, like, I feel like what Digi might be getting at is knowing that someone truly cares about you is, is good. Well, Why would you call that an emotional cum? I would say I, that I, the, I in, assume. the intimacy <laughs> involved with sex can lead to like like emotions that rush through your brain other than just the one that you feel when you come, you know? Like you can get sure. these like different reactions. I, like your brain can okay. spike with okay. chemicals from just like the intimacy of it rather than actually from like your dick coming out. Di- you know? Digi, digi, digi. Yeah, yeah, right, Everyone right. shh. I I I under I understand what you're saying. I I know I know I know that uh that fucking that feeling. But the the thing about that is that much like the feeling of just the the, the physicality of sex and coming is that that is fleeting. That is extremely fleeting. Have sex, then just like pop out and just like wait a few minutes. Like instantaneously, all the pleasure you have is gone. It is only I mean, directly when you're doing the thing and like when you come from maybe like like five seconds afterward that there is. I mean, like what, what, anything. To what care I consider about. okay. And, when I reflect on like my like when I reflect on sex, I do not see like a morass of the same sex being had all the time. I think about like different outfits that that were being worn or like what positions were used or what furniture was involved or hmm. what like hmm. bodily fluids were what, spewed. Did, did, like, did, 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 what threats did, did, were made to uh to exactly. induce it. Did, 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 did you whereas you see different positions and, and different, you know, outfits, I I see different time stamp numbers. I see different. I, I see different, like like a like amount of numbers that, that have been consumed. That's what I see. The well, I I just look at that stuff as an aesthetic experience. Like the same reason. Like when I watch anime movies, for instance, like. 
I don't watch anime movies because of the like the incredible richness of thematic depth and narrative. I would read books for that if that was my main thing. I like the aesthetics of anime, and so there is always going to be like the aesthetic experience of it's just enjoyable for me to see this thing. When you see like a movie you really love and it just looks great, and you're like, fuck, every image of this looks amazing. And I feel that way about sex. I want it to have all these different aesthetic experiences, and like this time we're wearing fucking schoolgirl outfits outfits and pretending to be lesbians like Both that's you, oh I, god <laughs> yeah exactly like Did, that's like a, an aesthetic experience though oh, you know no. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm actually i'm actually sympathetic to what you're saying here that hasn't uh, okay. happened by the way yet yeah. I don't believe I, I don't, I don't believe it's on the docket <laughs> but, but okay. I hadn't thought uh, of it until this time, but we do have I, 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 again, I do not think that sex is all bad or, or, or all good. I, I, I agree that, se- like, like I, I am not above the biology of myself. I, I am mm-hmm. not above wanting to have sex and then feeling good, you know, during when sex is presently, currently happening, like right now. Mm-hmm. I, I'm not above that. That feels good. And when, and when you're with your loved one, it feels even better. I'm just saying that sex takes up way more time than oh, yeah. I get out of it. It is not it does not feel <coughs> even remotely as good for in like like the, the amount of time investment I get from playing Team Fortress 2 rather than having <laughs> sex. Like like the amount of like joy to hours I spend yeah. is is hall well, you know, Munchie, it's Holocaust. You know, uh, here here's one point I would make to the contrary of this. And I, I normally wouldn't make an argument like this, but I, I do think it applies in this case. And it's that Honestly, the best thing about sex for me is making the other person feel good. That is that is what I get out of it. I get I, to experience I, them enjoying it. And I, I completely agree, Nate. I, I don't I don't yeah, disagree okay, with that. Okay. I, I, but it's, it's just like that, it's, there's that, a lot that, of good that comes it from that. It, it, like the sex act is only one aspect. Then there's like the the appreciation that you get from the person and 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 the bond that you form. Uh, doing this extremely intimate act that you can't share with like anybody else, it's like a little private joke between the two of you, because sex is a joke. We all know this. Mm. Um, and uh, so on that level, <laughs> good on that level, that's sure. not really a tangible thing, but it's kind of an indirect tangible benefit. It, you know, you're you're working on building your relationship to I, some degree. For, uh, obviously, all these points are kind of retreaded from from you know yeah, famous right. Listen Buddy episode one. And since Listen Buddy episode one, I have had mm-hmm. sex, and I have spent many a more mm-hmm. like hours of my life ruminating and thinking about since then. And and right. I've come up with way more nuanced approaches. But because we're in this fucking hellfire podcast, I have to condense mm-hmm. all my real points into like so like like condensed mimetic well, okay. rage Hold totem on. pole I, beliefs I, that, I, that I, I have to spread well, out before, before Fitchy we... interrupts me mid sentence like help. every I'm single. Thing. Thing I I'm say. trying to help you. I'm trying to help you because I agree with you that sex takes too much time. Like I, yeah. I think that is the yeah. biggest problem I have with it is simply that. I mean, it's not to say that I'd rather be doing anything else. It's just that, like, the amount of time makes it feel like I'm not spending enough time on other things. I literally mm-hmm. have mm-hmm. cut out podcasts from my life entirely. Because, like, I just don't have time to fuck as much as I do and also listen to podcasts. You can just fuck while you're doing podcasts. I mean, <laughs> it's, well, well, it's a well, little not, weird not while you're listening, you hear, while you're like, recording. Dick Masterson's voice, like, <laughs> talking about, like fucking some, like, libertarian politics or something while you're trying to fuck. Like, I'd rather just put on some trap music, you know? (laughs) Because I'm fucking a trap. Do you you have sex with trap music in the background? Dude, like, Denzel Curry is, like, my main fuck music. I'm gonna come out. I'm gonna out Mm -hmm. myself. It's possibly a weirdo. I don't know how weird this is, but I do not like music. I do not put on music for sex. I find it distracting. I can't hmm. go my life without music, so like I have. Did to have a weirdo it. who always listens yeah. to music? That's not true. I, I, I actually, feel like a lot of people. Oh, yeah. I've never I really quiet been a, into a lot it. of the time. Just okay. not if I'm in the okay. office. Uh, ben, I, I, I honestly like haven't experimented with listening enough to music to know whether I find it weird or not. But I generally just like don't even think to bother doing yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, that's you know, what. I, that's I what. It, like when I think about putting it on, I'm like, wouldn't that be distracting? But like, I don't. Like yeah, I, I okay. Well, tried well, here's it. here's the thing. I, I was growing to up something the other day. Oh, I put on Big Crit the other day. Uh, oh, that was pretty good. That was pretty good. I, I, I love I, Big Crit. Well, I growing up like <laughs> always wanted. I had so many songs that I had like listed as like these are like my sex songs. Like I have a tr- I have a playlist of yeah, sexy songs. I had like I had a a songs that I've had in mind like since I first heard mm-hmm. them when I was fourteen. That I'm like I want to fuck to this song, yes. you know. And yes. so like immediately the first time that like I had sex with May, I was like put together this playlist before. 
before we even started. Like, I need to hear this, this, these this songs. The What's on there? Can I get one? What's one song on there? I'm curious. Oh, uh, Come On Over, Turn Me On by Mark Lanigan and Isabel Campbell was the first mm. thing on my list. Um, uh, Prom Night by Anna Monaguchi was on there. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's um, a good one. That one's more of a makeout song, though, than a fucking song, honestly. The, 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 yeah, okay. There, there are two things that I've wanted to do when, I, when I've gotten together. a girlfriend. A shout out I, to I Feel It Coming by uh, The Weeknd. Oh, yeah, that's a good fuck song. Go. That's a great I one. I feel it coming in the air there, there, nah. there, Fucking Christ. There, there have been two things <laughs> I've wanted to do when I get a girlfriend. And one of them, Digi, that me and you mm-hmm. have bonded over. Number one, play Kirby's Epic Yarn co-op be- yeah, because, of game yeah. because of game grumps yep number two is that when john and aaron cemented their love i mean danny and aaron yeah uh, that whatever was never mind same, same 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 okay okay um and the, and the second one was was fr- from from raising gazorpazorp from rick and morty yeah. when when morty <laughs> rushes down and drinks an entire carton of orange juice after coming i've always wanted to <laughs> do those two things <laughs> <laughs> does he really that's amazing yeah yeah oh and i can see you doing that too because you drink orange juice <laughs> like, I, and then crazy. you run right back up, and the noise begins again. The yeah, exactly, commence. exactly. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've not, I've not achieved, but, but I'll keep you posted. <laughs> <laughs> Let me Gross. know. I, Let I me feel bad. I feel bad. All those just, people, Munchie, when comments... you do that, just please post a single tweet with a single orange in the body of the tweet. I, just I, do that. I will. We'll I will. know. We'll I'm, I'm sorry to all of those people who, who have broken the pack. I, I'm still on your side. I, I, in, in fact, this just this just strengthens my case. This just this just makes me more a champion of the people. You have to dabble in the dark arts to know how to defeat them. You have you have to understand <laughs> your enemy before you can take them down. Just, just think true. about it that way. I'm I, I I'm I'm I haven't turned. I I haven't I haven't flipped my heel upside it's down and slipped a banana munchie. peel. It no, munchie, it's you know, true. Uh, Munchie, I, uh, I, when I think about this argument, the way you're presenting it, like, if there was a magical switch before me that would just turn off, like, my need for sex, uh, at this point in my life, I would absolutely do it. And I would just be like, now I can just be productive, like, all the time, well, nothing to worry about. can you turn but it the- on again? I, I'm gonna. I, well, well I, if I, I don't can, know. If I can turn it off and on, I would keep it off most of the time. But yeah. Yeah. I would yeah. want, not want it gone for, for good. Not not the capacity for sex. This is the need for sex, not the capacity. Okay, then yeah. I mean, yeah. honestly, it would have implications for my life. I don't you know, think especially it would my relationship. Change. I don't think if if I only turned off the need and not the capacity, I don't know if it would change enough. Well, see, that's interesting. Like, what else would I, I do anyways? Because most of the sex hmm. I have is because I wouldn't really want to... I don't want to do anything else. Like, I'm, we live in, like, a fucking frozen okay. nightmare world where there's nowhere to go. Um, so, like, most of what we do is stay inside. Well, you know, and, like, uh, th- th- my life is like this. I want every fucking second I can have to work on my extremely backed up catalog of projects that yeah. I have in the pipe. So, for me, a single second I can spend too. more on that. That's, I, I, that's how I feel. I feel like, though, like, I feel as though I wish I didn't have to spend as much time on that as I do. Like, mm, I already yeah. am spending so much time working and trying to get through all these projects, and I mm-hmm. wish that my projects were, like, like it, one of them had enough impact that I didn't have to do them all the fucking time, you know? Yeah. Yeah, but that's the world we're in. Did you? Do you think your life's gonna change at all when you're in a not nightmare snow hellscape? Do you think that's gonna change anything, or do you think you're 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 cemented in this? I mean, we were we were going out a lot more before winter started. Like, yeah, it's yeah. it's just a matter of like our house is a little out of the way, and um, if it's it snows almost constantly throughout the winter, so we have to dig out the car like out from under the snow every time you want to even use it. You know, uh, that's so brutal. it's like. You know, even taking a five-minute drive to McDonald's is a ten-minute drive. That's going to have a chilling effect. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> got him. Exactly. I got I, the I emotional know. nut when I made um, the joke. And, I mean, it only just, like, three days ago finally stopped being snow every day. And now it's, like, kind of getting normal. And we, we've we gone mm. out more. But, like, it's it's just, like, yeah. I mean, I would. there's lots of things I like doing, but there's only so many that you can do in the same day. It's, like, once I've gone out, like, to gone out to eat – gone shopping or something like done something outside that's fun maybe gone for a walk or something you know and then you you get online you do all your social media shit you checked twitter you checked your comments you've caught up on whatever youtube videos are out all right now it's time to work all right i've worked to the exhaustion capacity of my brain um so where do i fill in the other like four hours that are there in the day that normally i would just sit there and listen to podcasts i would i don't i don't want to fill that time with more work because my 
I don't think I, I work well work. when Jackpot. I'm like forcing myself, you know. Okay. Like, okay. I I feel the opposite. I tend to flow follow the flow of whatever I'm inspired to work on at the moment, you know. And if I'm not That's inspired to work I on anything at the moment, block. then I have writer's block. I can't work. <laughs> I don't get writer's block. I just do. I get writer's cock, between, motherfucker. I just go yeah. down the yeah. <laughs> If I don't feel like writing any anime <laughs> videos, bill. I'll make a song, you know, or or vice versa. Yeah, okay. But you know. Hey, I think Gib was gonna I, say something. I, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. No. I just uh, here's here's my sex music. Hmm. I gotta try that. Actually. Put that on loop immediately. Well, what do you think of Sansa? What do you think of Riska? Okay. Well, I I'm disappointed. I, I'm disappointed mm-hmm. in, in what's happened here today. I, I, I was bragging myself. I was smirking. I was smiling ear to shining ear. I was thinking about how I was going. This was going to be my magnum opus. Everyone's going to remember my performance here on this Procrastinators podcast episode. But but mm-hmm. I floundered. I've just repeated what I've said in, in an attempt to to spit out my, my ideals in a completely unnuanced, unpragmatic, fucking retarded way. And now people will just remember me as the guy who just is repeating listen buddy topics even though, and though I have thousands of words here, they 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 were completely squandered and wasted. And to go back and re- to read them again would just be trading old ga- uh, well, ground again I, in this topic. So I, I, I'm I disappointed know. and I'm upset. I think your main point, I I completely agree with. I wish sex took up less time, and I think that really is the ultimate point you're trying to make here. I, that's that's a utilitarian <sighs> point, and I completely agree with it. I also have that exact same desire. I don't know. Uh, wow, I guess, I guess it's just less you're just completely redundant. I well, it <laughs> yep. turns out that when you're not when you're like arguing like and the like, people have like an actual defense lined up that they've been considering no, ever since hearing Digi, the first Digi, you're a funny. fucking yeah. hack. You were you would be fucking banned from ever serving in a town council or any degree of c- <laughs> citizenship. You would be fucking exiled for your display here on this podcast for ruining my stone cold defense yeah, of for being the so good of... at arguing that I like dismiss. For being so good at arguing that you just cut <laughs> off in the middle of citizenship. You are a master tactician. You have mastered <laughs> politics and rhetoric, Digi. You know every line of defense. Your philosophy is as solid as a statue. Oh, do we do we want to bring up MGTOWs at all? You're a nightmare! <laughs> I, I, I kind of do. What is, a, what do. is a MGTOW? Can, wait, maybe MGTOW, the Urban Dictionary can help us. A, a modern day hero. Uh, but let's find out. Let's Nate, find do out. You me- do you remember when me, you, and Nay got mad at each other? Or me, you, and Bing got mad at each other at Bad Con 2 about MGTOWs? Absolutely. We had a big argument. It, what video was that in? That was in the... It was some Let's Play in Digi's room. The, the, I don't remember Jack Flash or whatever. It was, yeah. in, it was in a blue glow. Yeah, it's on a, it's on a blue glow somewhere. Uh... Here's the okay. Here's the definition of MGTOW. Top definition on Urban Dictionary: Men going their own way. MGTOW is a statement of self ownership, where the modern man preserves and protects his own sovereignty. Okay, this guy's obviously a MGTOW. Uh, his own yeah. sovereignty <laughs> above all else. It is the manifestation of one word. No. Oh my God, I'm getting inspired now. Eject I'm getting silly that emotional nut. Preconceptions and cultural definitions of what a man in quotations guys. is. Looking to no one else for social cues. Refusing to bow, serve, and kneel for the opportunity to be the, treated like a disposable utility and living according life. to his own best interest in a world which would rather he didn't. Um, Guys, parents, are you going to get married and buy a house and start a family? Guy answers, no, I'm a big town. <laughs> this um, is me. This is me. I am the proudest MGTOW who has ever lived. Um, guy, <laughs> guy writing this, and, and nobody said everywhere. you have to have a girlfriend, okay? Well, this guy, this <laughs> guy's out. just, you know, he's, he's drunk the Kool-Aid in a big way. But that's yeah. fine. Uh, uh, oh, well, okay, here, let me, I'll break this down super easy. MGTOWs uh, see the very real challenge that is presented in society that is like a pressure to get a girlfriend and like judges you if you don't get one. And they're just like, this system is unfair. I like don't like it. I it, think it's not helpful. I choose to not engage in it. And then they just like saying. sidestep it. Which which honestly, morally, there is no problem with that. Morally that's that's completely unobjectionable. People are allowed to do whatever they want. Yeah. But practically I don't it get is why not, it's Yeah. It's it's a weird label because yeah. it just gives people something to laugh at when they look at you. 
Uh, <laughs> well, now they're not. Now they're not laughing at the fact that you don't have sex. It's now that they're laughing at the fact that you're a crazy man. Well, okay, I don't yeah, think that, it's that you're very crazy, honestly. Like, 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 I mean, I don't like, think someone's crazy, crazy for not deciding wanting to not be to in have a sex. Is completely I just think it's okay. crazy yeah. to be militant about it. Well, like a lot of yeah, MGTOWs mil- actually do. Is... A lot of MGTOWs are into kind of like the pump and dump mentality, where they're, like they'll fuck women. Like there's still many want to have sex, but like they don't want to shackle themselves with like a wife or you know a girlfriend or whatever. Get out of town. I mean, that's not just. I don't know. It, it, I don't it, see why it needs it a, just, its own it just, label. It just feels... Beat feet. You know? Yeah. Oh, no. You gotta... Uh, well, well here, here's the reason like a, why it, yeah. a, a label... I mean, I... I Again, I don't think being identitarian about it makes... Is, like, a healthy thing to do. But, yeah. like, there is definitely a real... Like, Amigdow is kind of like a feminist. Like, they recognize some injustices in the world, or what they perceive to be injustices, and they choose to, like, specifically oppose those and, like, reject these certain things, and th- this is just the label to indicate that. In this case, these people are rejecting, like, society's pressure to, like, get a girlfriend and possibly have sex, just like, you know, maybe they'll just want to, you know, jack off all the time or whatever. Some some certainly do that. And it makes sense, but I just don't think it's productive. And th- this is very much a mentality of, you know, the opposite of what I say, you know, uh, 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 these person want lighter burdens as opposed to broader shoulders, without a doubt. That's definitely what this means. They're like, we re- we reject this challenge of society and think it is unfair, which it is. Which it, it is not like a morally justifiable position for people to put on you. Because you have no obligation to marry or reproduce. Morally speaking, there is absolutely none. But in a practical sense, there is an impetus to do so. Which is why I, I why? certainly can't agree with this. Well, well, well because with, if you don't reproduce, uh, yeah, because we want more humans, we want more people to do stuff, and what, like, what, what if you're retarded? <laughs> well, but I mean, just, then it just is a perfectly example. utilitarian position to say, ah, my genes are bad, I'm not going to reproduce. That, but if your genes are fine, then you should. And and everyone and, and should work to you're be better. You're definitely retarded. So no, no, there okay. You go. Reproducing is about more than just genes. If you like, even if you have fucking leukemia, if you reproduce and you have a kid who also has leukemia, but you are just a badass, like, entrepreneurial motherfucker who, like, achieves so much, you will instill those values in your kid to some degree. And, like, that will be a better person than some, like, welfare baby, you know, like, I don't know, piece of shit asshole who just is like, eh, my life sucks, somebody help me. Y- you know, so, like, there, there's values outside of just genetics well, that you can improve in I, yourself. I, fe- I feel like, mm-hmm. like... If, 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 say, if you want from a practical, practical uh, perspective, mm-hmm. it, you want the people who are good at adding to society to reproduce yeah. mm-hmm. uh, so that they will instill values in the children. Mm-hmm. Surely the people who are too weak to step up to the challenge, don't we don't need them anyway? I, I, th- I hear what you're saying on that front. The only way I'd even sort of disagree is just, like, I, I just don't think that, like, the, the, getting the MGTOW message <laughs> is actually a helpful thing. Because there's going to be some people on the fence, probably, who could have gone one way or another. And then, like, maybe if this wasn't a movement, they would have gone the other way and then, like, yeah, built I, themselves and risen to the challenge, I, you know? True. I, 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 but I would also yeah. say that the, the opposite is, like, mm-hmm. some people who don't, who have, like, terrible, per- they, 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 they reproduce mm-hmm. despite... Um, their flaws as character, uh, like, as like uh, members of society that add to it. Like yeah. they they just yeah. happen to be in a place where sex is easy to get because everyone's easy or, or whatever. N- like like yeah. white trash people. Well, I just know? don't think that the MGTOW like identity or movement is actually the best for the people in it. I think what is best for them is to adopt an attitude where like self improvement. They accept that, that that's their responsibility to obtain happiness and what they want in their life, and then to work towards it, as opposed to just like you know. Saying, like, oh, society's fucked. I choose not to engage in it. Because, like, they're the ones who are going to suffer, ultimately, for doing that. So, yeah, you know, I don't Nate, know. I, I think it is irresponsible to just simply want more babies. I think we want more babies who have good parents. Uh, if, if, if we had the same amount of humans, but just all of them were smart... That would be, that would be way better than just having like like you know twenty five percent more population. We but just we have, can't have a bunch of we can't actually babies. control that though. I mean, I'd certainly like to. We, uh, we hashtag... can promote that. There, there, if if we're yeah, th- there's definitely ways to improve that. If we if we focus more of our efforts on making people better instead of just having there be more people by you know like 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 you know again not promoting just having babies. Well, not, okay, but you, you don't have to only do one thing. of those things. It's not like one comes to the exclusion of the other. And and. Uh, 
on another level, like practically speaking, economies need growth in the population to grow. So like there is just an intrinsic good for an economy when there is population growth, you know, obviously to a saturation point, but that varies from place to place. You know, America is nowhere near as crowded as India, Japan, like in the cities, et cetera, et cetera. There's plenty of room to grow population. Like, it's just, economies need this sort of stuff. But God, I don't fucking care about this. Let's talk about something else. This is, this is... What was the MGTOW point sex, again? Baby. Are they cool? Well, I, I was interested in just talking about me. MGTOWs in the context of, like, people who... Like, there's this sexual... It's it's the same stuff we were talking about before. Like, there yeah, is a exactly. sexual impetus on men, like, to go out and conquer and, you know, like, get sex, because then they'll be thought of as cool guys. And MGTOWs, like, reject that. And I, morally speaking, makes sense what they say. Wait, I, I cannot I refute what MGTOWs they're saying. I thought MGTOWs were about having sex, but not... Not all of them. There's, 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 there's subdivisions within the MGTOW movement. Oh, it's a fractured, a fractured populace. Oh. That's S- that's sadly, a, a, a sadly. nation divided. Yeah. <laughs> why, why would you call yourself a MGTOW if you're not the one of the crazy ones? Like, it's like calling yourself a brony if you just watch the show. People are going to assume you're a pedophile as well. Because that's it's my, fun to label yourself. I mean, yourself. that's my People argument enjoy doing about so. literally all labels. Like, mm. yeah. like, why would, like... That's right. Like, there's a lot of people who want to try to, like, reclaim labels. I think that's the problem, is, like, the reclamation. Like, people who, um, you know, insist on calling themselves, like, like oh, like, I am a feminist because I'm, I'm in favor of, like, you know, women having equal rights. And it's like, well, most people, when they hear that word, don't think that's what you're about, you know? So, like, you might as well, like, move on to a new term, you know? Like, that's how I feel about, like, pretty much any label is eventually it's going to get diluted and it's going to seem like the, the most extreme part of it is, like, what people associate with it, you know? Yeah, I think identitarianism of any type is the largest problem in humanity. I think it is the root cause right. of so many issues. I'm a Tribes big towel. <laughs> uh, by the way, while just while the term big towel up, I uh, 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 shout out. <laughs> yes, here's a song that my girlfriend likes to sing. Uh, welcome to my life as a female Meg Tao. Welcome to my life. Yeah, thank so, you. For I was laughing you. about it, but it was really funny. Uh, I like it. <laughs> it's it's good though. My female Meg Tao life. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm done. Was that before very, the very podcast nice. that you like hit yeah. us at that? That was before, before. Okay. and so I had to insert. It. It's okay. I, I had right. to inseminate it into the. Oh, podcast. that's right. I had to the, impregnate the, this uh, podcast. Yes. I, 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 the, the the core Meg Tao belief again is something that like like I I I, I, I do believe that it is not i again as i've been saying i don't think i don't think society should pressure people into thinking that sex is just inherently like like as as you know important as we now think of it you know and i think it's perfectly Mm -hmm. fine to not want to participate in it but you know like like obviously you know they have like a somewhat reasonable idea if you take the most mundane aspects of it but you know they're they're militant they're warriors they're sjw's in their own right and that is not Oh, good. In a in a sense, in a sense, yeah, in a sense, in in a sex. I've zoned out. I th- I think we're pretty much at the at the tail here, end here. Are there any here, final points to make? Yeah, yes. Yeah. Here here are my testimonials for what I've said earlier today. Here's mm-hmm. here's testimonials for what I've said. Uh, I'm on Team Munchie, Ben Saint. I gotta say, Munchie's argument were a lot more convincing. Even though I've previously enjoyed sex in the past, I'm starting to reconsider its merits. Wait, wait, who, who's saying this? Whose words are these? Anti-sex campaign, Digi Ben Saint said this. Wait, no, I said no, this. I did not say that was you. Oh, this is wait, Digi's wait, read, words. Read okay. Read it back yeah. to me again. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Why did you have my I didn't name? Didn't know it was about me. Ben, Ben, you said I'm on. T- this is on the the the, the uh, comments on Listen by Episode One. I'm on Team oh. Munchie. Then Digi Bro says, I gotta say, Munchie's arguments were a lot more convincing. Even though I've previously enjoyed sex in the past, I'm starting to reconsider its merits <laughs> and I consider joining Munchie's anti-sex campaign. Okay, for what it's so, worth, as you can in see, that video, your Munchie's true, argument... untainted by recent insatiable lust for femdon, femdon. <laughs> <laughs> high heel penis drubbings. Your opinions have been laid bare. If you were to go back on them now, you would be changing your mind and your credibility would be shot down instantaneously oh, for reconsidering your fleet half ironic Digi Bro mean is beliefs. so known for having consistent <laughs> beliefs. <laughs> Because he's totally not known for being a flip-flopper on literally everything. Yeah, uh, but the problem is that he talks with so much authority, and that's a big problem for me. He just, like, pretends like he's the fucking expert. Like, what the fuck, guys? What the fuck? Yeah. Um, you'll delete yourself in real life. So, so, yeah. so, so, you, so you heard it from Bro. Sex is all bad. You heard, you heard it here. Yeah, there it is. First, folks. We've yep, settled the question. Sex is all bad. 
You got my you vote. You did have a stronger <laughs> argument in that podcast, which is why why I said that. Uh, hashtag assassinate President Trump so that his son Munchy J Trump can as- rise to the throne uh, and, and, and outlaw uh, <laughs> sex. That's what I want. It's the only way we can make this happen. That's the only avenue available to us at this moment. I, uh, I hope you guys like this I podcast. You guys, you guys remember fans. when um, like Bill this. Clinton had sex with a lady? This. That was a problem for me. Yeah. We need to upturn that apple cart and really go back to basics of, you know, uh, enslaving, uh, you know, everyone. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> I, I hope you still like us, everyone. I hope you still enjoy us. I hope you still enjoy our company. I hope you haven't left. I hope you haven't thought that we've Why gone they downhill. Leave? And then, They've been and jacking their little baby all, dicks you know, this whole fucking integrity. time. This has been a dream come true for them. Yeah, this podcast has been great. Well, there you go. Are, are, we, are, we, yes. are we reading comments? It's time for comments. Yes, it's time. The, the, the moment has come. Uh, That's right. Of course. Okay, here we go. At Lobotanist. Oh, wait, you know, this is a great question. Uh, is there a death? Oh, right. At Lobotanist, is there a death pool for the IRL Radcon Three Arena? And how did you bet? Explain so this death man's, pool. What is this death man's pool? talking about? A, d- a death pool is when uh, so so uh, at fucking Radcon Three funded happening. Uh, there will be the the fucking Radcon Three Arena IRL where we shoot each other with real real deadly Nerf bullets, Dude-ly and kill each other. Firearms. And and there has been no betting pool, but there should be stakes. He's right. There should be yeah. stakes to this event. Yeah. We should absolutely add some sort of uh, you know. Uh, it, 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 the loser doesn't get to eat the steak dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's the stakes. No, only the, the loser the, gets the, no the, steak. The, the dinner has to make dinner. The, the loser has to make. Dinner. <laughs> for the rest of the people. But there's, a, but everyone's a loser. How about I, I, all I the losers that, have to make the most decadent dinner for the yeah, one yeah, winner? I, okay, okay. Yeah, how yeah. how about like at the dinner, like 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 how about everyone eats, but like the winner, like it arranged in order of of like winner, like the winner gets the most sumptuous banquet and the I, loser gets first, yeah. and, and we I were like, like arranged we, at the table from like winner to loser. Yeah, we, I don't know. We, I, I think just, there should be some kind of hierarchy all, based on on, on, on how people good. perform. We've all just instantly like come to the conclusion. Like, yes, they like the, the reward will be dinner related. There will be <laughs> dinner <laughs> afterwards off that instantaneously. <laughs> I like it. I think it's a good, yeah, good I mean, prize. Wait, 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 wait. wait how there, about like how about like um I don't know maybe like there become like for one day there's like a chain of command or something and like. Like everyone has to like obey oh, the people ooh, above ooh. them. Let's get let's get real sexy with it and be oh, like God, the losers. No. The losers have to do whatever the winner says. <laughs> they, they have to start every they have porn. to do emotional bukkake. <laughs> <laughs> <The> emotional bukkake. <laughs> Oh yeah, you just have to just shower me with compliments. You just have to shower me. Everyone gathers in a circle. It just jacks off their emotions onto my face. I want that. That's when I win. That's what I'm going to ask um, all of you to do. Or maybe I don't know. We could, I, I, we could bet something. Like we could bet something. Not much. I want the that's loser boring. to suffer dinner. and die. It has to be dinner. Uh, 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 good. Uh, what about uh, betting our uh, subscriber count? Oh, yes. oh, if only we had Ben's yeah. famed subscriber everyone betting puts pool. Up, everyone puts up, everyone bets subscribers. Yeah. <laughs> We've all got 10K, I think, or like around there. And, and then we trans- like we transfer them to the winner, like based on some mysterious <laughs> process we have yet to invent. <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. Um, that'd be great. By the way, everybody, uh, just in case you hadn't noticed, uh, 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 I, I don't know if I said this before. Did we talk before about how fucking uh, the we are max reviving TBAP? It fucking happened. Did that did that get brought up last episode? No, no, because so. we didn't know. No, but I, oh, yeah, I've so, got some uh, related questions I can ask, such as Thalamus Dredge okay. uh, from our Patreon exclusive Discord group asking, how do you feel about the Kickstarter doing as incredibly as it did, even reaching well, the meme tier you never thought it would make? Uh, it's unbelievable. That was literally a joke. It was literally a joke. Nine thousand and one dollars to max revive TBAP. Uh, but we thanks for the money, guys, and we will use it how, to make Radcon as dope as fucking possible. How I feel about it doing as incredibly as it did is that I mm. probably fucked up really bad by not mm-hmm. reading any of the discussion that happened around Radcon three at all, mm-hmm. um, or what any of the stretch goals were. And so, mm-hmm. therefore, I did not at any point raise my voice and say, hey, let's make a stretch goal so that we just get paid to do this. 
like a like a stretch goal of like five thousand dollars higher than what we need to make it possible, and then uh-huh. that's the money that just goes to us for well, there, doing as, it. As a matter of fact, that already is kind of in the thing. Like is it's in, in the there? thing that yeah, whatever money okay. is just left over after the thing, it just gets given to us. I, so that is, we are going to be... spend it on Radcon as much as possible. Yeah, because I, I yeah. have integrity. Yeah. I made the mistake of only saying it would cost me $100 because I was travel cost, but because I mm-hmm. decided I want to stay in a hotel instead, I will definitely be operating at a gigantic loss for Radcon 3. If I had Indeed. known that it was going to make so much money, I would have just asked for more money to go. I would have been like, oh, it cost $300 to have me or, or, or however Though, much everyone would else Would we was have actually given you money for a hotel outside of Radcon? I would have mm, just told you that no. my travel cost was $300 and lied and fucking... Okay. Than like, <laughs> or like it's three hundred dollars for it to be worth it for me to come. Like, well, there you go. You know, well, there you go. But uh, glad we can have you on board. I'm glad. I'm glad, <laughs> glad we can have you on board. You're, you're a credit to the force. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. What else is going on? Uh, f- uh no, that's bad. Uh, what? Uh, at Doombox Two asks, what's the most underrated thing? What's the most My underrated thing? D- Sex. Uh, <laughs> the the core of the earth. The uh, under celibacy. homestuck celibacy homestuck yeah yeah it's, um, the, it's i mean it's highly tail. rated but not nearly it's enough it's definitely underrated compared to the cultural like force that it is like it, i, I guess think that's be, true it should be recognized as being one of the greats you know like the fan the so. fans love it but nobody and, else cares yeah, nobody who has like anybody who hasn't read homestuck and is not a big fan thinks it is like literally they just beyond their comprehension like they that's why you gonna watch armor shivel we He's ease right. you into it fucking check out armor shivel armor shivel con 3 was funded by the way guys armor shivel con 3 is definitely gonna happen yeah, that's Ethan right and steve are gonna be there fucking dope as hell check out armor shivel incredible Fuck. Okay, yeah. I got another question for y'all. This okay. is from uh, Horsepower. He asks, what's the biggest project you ever wanted to make but don't have the know-how yet or time? Mm. The know-how or time and not the money or resources? Yeah, like uh, you literally you don't know how to make this thing and that's why you haven't made it. A musical. I would like to make a musical. That is what I... Oh. On the stage. On the stage. Yep. That's I mean, it. For- for, for for me, it's an ARG. I, I is that going to be the re- revival of TBAP? <laughs> That's what yeah, TBAP IRL is going to be. <laughs> I, I I I I want to keep doing small Japanese juggalo ARG so I can grind my skills to make an actually good real that's ARG. A, that's a good I idea. Want, I, I, I want to make an actual real marble hornets. The, the, the only <laughs> problem is, the, like, the, the one problem that I have with trying to do a marble hornets is that eventually, like, you know, one day I, I will have the Patreon. And it'll, okay, here's know, my problem there. with marble but, but hornets. I, I, I can't, well, fucking, wait, hold on. Okay. But, but, I, but I can't, like, just be like, Here's my new series, guys. It's my horror ARG. I can't just like, announce that it is an ARG yeah, and I'm work. behind it. So it's, you know, how, how am I going to let the people know that I'm not doing nothing and let them know of my new content? You got to wait for that, like, that oh. that, you need that Frog Fractions word of mouth. It's the only way. It's the only way. Dude, what if what yes. if this was like a, like a secret hint and it's already out? Oh, oh no. shit. shit. Yeah, uh, by I, the way, my... Uh, so, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was just going to say I've also tried to launch ARGs a bunch of times or, like, tried to work on them, but it is, like, daunting you, to make it, like, big enough to be, like, noteworthy, you know? Yeah, especially because you're risking nobody giving a shit. And right, then, exactly. You know. Like, I, when I was working on one, um, like what was it two years ago when i was trying like really trying to launch this arg and i made a whole ton of footage for it for all these different videos and stuff and then i was just like the amount of time it will take to complete this like for a chance that no one finishes this like no one sees all this footage it's just like i can't take that risk you know did, did, did you, I, you 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 helped create the Japanese juggle arg the most successful arg of all time so you know, <laughs> yeah, something to be celebrated for it there i i want to learn like need the know-how and the time to actually produce a good rock album uh, yeah. that isn't just a bunch of me fucking around with guitars and not knowing and, and or caring how to record properly. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like I want to do it right. I want to actually have like songs. <laughs> That's what I want. Hippo, think about it. You you have two unique skills that no other PCP. PCP people do. You have 2D animation skills and you have music skills. That those are two unique. Oh, I guess Digi. Actually, never mind. Never mind. Digi can't like animate. I mean, he is a reviewer. He's not an animator. Yeah. Okay, that's true. 
Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I can't good job, for Hippo. Shit. For Ben, for, what for about me, you, Ben? I think yes. maybe like the ultimate magnum opus, and I have no plans for this. The point. This is just off the top mm. of my head, but some kind of like some kind of like big, like comprehensive like volume or tome kind of like like house of leaves or something but Mm. like you know obviously there'd be illustrations so i'm thinking something like jimmy corrigan the smartest kid on earth that has like Mm. you Mm. know a big like a big like dense like you know world and characters and history that's all kind of like you know just all all in one big volume that might be something someday thinking about my answer to this the problem is that like it's the biggest problem you've ever wanted to make. So that would just be some video game I wanted to make as a kid. Because obviously mm-hmm. that's like... I think video games are like the biggest projects that are like in modern media probably. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like as for uh, currently like biggest project I want to make but don't have the know-how yet would just be any masterpiece. Like, I just want to know that I've made a masterpiece that people recognize as a masterpiece, and I just don't think I am good enough to do that yet, you know? Mm. But what would that masterpiece look like? I don't know. Like, it could be a YouTube video. It could be a book. (laughs) It could be... I don't know, like, what by what means I have it in me to create something that would be, like, recognized the way, like, Infinite Jest is recognized, you know? Well... What, what, well, Digi, your dream is a farce because you've Here. already made a masterpiece, a Measurement Man on Modal Solid Production. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> can I, can I, can I go on a tangent about Infinite Jest for a second? Okay. Yeah. Um, um, something. Okay, this is not like a new observation, but it's something that I've like come to terms with. Okay, well, like when I first was introduced to Infinite Jest, it was like, oh, it's this big, complicated work, and everyone's like in awe of its like sheer size and scope, and I was like, whoa, neat. And I mean, the more I've thought about it. It, it took me like two years to read and I was like, okay, that was pretty neat. I get it. But the more I've thought about it, the more I think that really the reason it's famous is not because of what it is. I mean, what it is is mm. noteworthy and people probably would have taken note. But I really think that it's just because of the reputation that DFW had. And like, I think the fact that he made it and that people knew him and that this was coming from him was probably was like a really big part of where oh, it's yeah. like the recognition for it came from it's hard to what was i mean anything mm-hmm. that fucking out there like you have to be known you know like james joyce's ulysses would not be famous if james joyce hadn't already been famous you know yeah which I, is that's interesting. I don't know. like it's it that's like i guess that's true of everything that like things get notorious like based on like you know like the, the, the notoriety of their creator and that's just a, like an inherent thing like people yeah, are attached yeah. to people the names and identities and stuff but uh, uh I don't know. is your is your point kind of that the book is a little bit less deserving of all the discussion and praise than um, you, you, you think, think that it's there's gotten? a lot of legitimate criticism you could have of the book like the book is mm. really like sure like it's known for its size and scope and those are yeah, undeniable yeah. but like like it's pretty fucking meandering a lot of the time oh, and like yeah. messy mm. and sloppy and paced really weird which is i guess is kind of inevitable with something that size but like you know those are real but, problems but then why have it i think you size? could i think you could reasonably argue that it isn't the masterpiece that everyone says i don't know if i hmm. necessarily hmm. don't think that it is but i think there's an argument against it but, but, it's interesting. But, uh, to, to go on a tangent from your tangent, the only thing that's made me want to read Infinite Jest is is knowing that the author killed himself. It, 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 it made me think, like, wow, he's not like a pussy. Like, he's actually killed himself. <laughs> like, how yeah, he's like... Well. He's like, ta- like, like, I get the dude, impression that he's like, he like says he's like munchy. depressed or something. And I didn't, I like, whenever like authors say like, oh, I'm depressed, I never believe them. But like, he actually killed himself. Yeah. He was actually yeah. depressed. Like, wow. Yeah. Like, I mean, he did. lots you of gotta, people are. You got to look into the uh, Japanese author Mishima. I don't remember his first name, but uh, he was a guy who like wrote about like the aesthetic beauty of like the human body and everything. He was like a big workout dude, big like mm. body improvement guy. But he was also radically anti-government. And, like, he literally, this is just an author, but he, like, like led an attack on, like, a military base, like, killed oh a bunch God. of people, and, like, Jesus. made demands that, like, they, like, shut down the government. And, of course, they didn't, so he committed seppuku and uh, had his damn. friend, like, chop his head off. This is in, like, the 60s. Holy shit. Yeah. It's fucking insanity. It's, it's, bizarre. it's crazy when, like, people and that, like, artists, is, like, like, go on to do real things. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. It just there means they really were committed. to be fake. 
Yeah, in, like, in, like, they, in a they're, way, they're I not supposed to be it. actually doing like they're, these are just people that write stuff. They they write fiction. Like there was um there's a one hit Wonderland about a, a beds are burning by some Australian band, and like it turns mm-hmm. out that it's like a politi- it was like a very politically motivated band, and like now that guy is like part of the Australian like parliament or some shit, and he's I think like people underestimate like how much. Like, I think there is a lot of people who do music and stuff like that who might actually have more insight into what's going on, and that's why they're doing art, is that they're trying you know to, like, let people in on, like, they're trying to fucking woke you, you know, with, mm-hmm. like, You know what, this, this is out. actually great. I'm glad we get onto this, because, like, okay, here's a problem I have with guys like, like, fucking uh, Nerdwriter. Nerdwriter will spend his whole life writing about how much you should feel, like, oh, this thing is so special, it's so important, but, like, what the fuck is he gonna actually do to, like, achieve any of this shit he's talking about? Like, I feel a pain every day that I am not a scientist or an engineer currently working to, like, make better rockets to get human beings into space. It consumes me that I am like just a guy talking about anime and like I talk about the themes that like so I'm no better I'm no better than this guy but like with him because he's so popular it's just he's just like giving people these emotions to like feel a certain way and to me it's really cheap and but my core message behind everything I do is improve yourself fucking lift weights eat healthy be a better man uh, you know, or woman, whatever, and achieve something with your life. And all I think about is, is what I'm doing right now actually making the world a better place? Probably not. And that really fucks me up. And then, you know, so like, I'm thinking about like, am I really passing along the message I actually really sincerely care about passing on to people about self-improvement and, you know, whatever. Like, I get out of stories like Ghost in the Shell and uh, a Gurren Lagann, like, you know, important themes I think are, I want people to really hear. I want them to actually think about what the fuck I'm talking about. Uh, you know what I mean? Nate, you know what I mean? I, 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 I know, care. I care I, that I feel, I'm not doing that. It pisses me off. I feel similarly, but I, I, I look at my... Mm-hmm. um. Because I constantly get messages from people that are like, you know, oh, you were an inspiration for me to do whatever. And, like, sometimes it's something I'm like, cool, I'm glad you were inspired to do that. Sometimes I'm like, maybe you shouldn't be inspired to make a YouTube Mm -hmm. channel if you're... You know, not gonna be dedicated to it and do a good job. Heidi's brilliant. But, I'm working to my house to be just like you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you if you something like that, I'm like, no, be careful. You know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, but like because I do inspire people, and, I, and a lot of people have just told me things like, you know, your videos help me get through the day, or like, I don't want to kill myself anymore because your podcast came out, and I'm like, sick. So. To me, I'm like, okay, I'm clearly doing a service for humanity in that (laughs) sense. But then I can also go into my watch time, like my total Mm -hmm. watch time, and it's like 100 years of human life or or, or 600 years or something like that. And I'm just like, okay, well, have I I inspired enough people to like make up for how many have died just watching my videos? (laughs) Dude, I, I just think about... You've claimed an entire human life and a half. I've claimed, like, six... Hold on. i got to go look at the actual number. It that, was something yes, please, like... Please pull like, that number up. It was several but like, human lives. The, the best comments I get... Uh, occasionally I'll get, like, tweets or whatever about people saying, like, Dude, you videos inspired me. I have lost, like, 100 pounds because yeah. I took responsibility for my life. I have wor- I just got a message like that the other day. Uh, that, like, what a fucking hero that guy is. And I am so happy that I actually made a fucking difference in the world. It actually meant something, the shit that I say. That is what actually matters. Uh, the people about making people feel good a little bit, that's fine. All I care about is actual results okay. that are being achieved by this shit. Yeah, what do you got? What's, uh, what's your number my, here? My total watch time for the Digibro channel is 618 years well, and there you go days. that's like yeah. six or seven lives maybe more depend yeah i mean if we're the 75 what what's the current fucking like life expectancy? 80, i don't know it's yeah, like eight dude. to nine ten lives whatever it's 10 I lives think it's like or, or i think it's like high 70s 78.74 are we doing another question well wait what i want to say was like the most important thing is gibbs sometimes says this gibbs has made videos about this very point and i think it is so true it's that, like, inspiration is fleeting. Inspiration mm. is fleeting. All that matters to me is that the people act on inspiration and actually start to make changes in their life and do something. If people watch my fucking Galco video and, like, you're, like, a hot slut who's like, why is everyone so mean to me? Why is everyone, you know, like, why can't people just appreciate that I'm a nice girl? And then they watch my video and they're like, yay, someone, like, hot girls can be nice. Like, okay, great. But how are you going to change your life? How are you going to be a better person as a result of this? That's what matters. But Gib here is completely right in his videos where he says like this is such a fleeting thing you'll watch this video you'll forget about it like 99 percent of people it won't make any fucking difference in the world and i feel like nerd writer shit captain christian shit and and me 
and me. Well, that's, that's like most of what it is. Disposable, like positive feelings. But like guys like Elon Musk, like Elon Musk founds SpaceX, is like, okay, let's make rockets. I want to hire people to make rockets. Uh, oh, no one exists in the world qualified to make the rockets I want to like advance the human race. Okay, luckily I personally am willing to work to understand this. So he becomes the own lead engineer for SpaceX because no one in the world was good enough. So he did it. And now we just had the Falcon Heavy launch that executed, uh, fucking like land like upright landings of rockets that ha will allow uh, the cost of like fly of space travel to go down by like 50% which means 50% more launches which means we're that much closer to colonizing like the moon actually having civilizations on mars like actual real tangible benefits that's what fucking matters in this world not this bullshit emotional shitty stuff that I do on YouTube. But how did the Dark Knight Rises make you feel? I don't give a the shit. shot composition, Nate. I don't, what oh my god, shot, shot composition. composition. All that stuff, all that stuff is Huey's Law, which is good because it baits people in to actually, like, listen to your message, but if that message isn't good or isn't there, then you've wasted everyone's time. I could not give I don't, a shit I don't about aesthetics. I that's true at all. I think a okay. lot I know of we disagree what... here. I mm -hmm. think a lot of the point of aesthetics and of art in general is not just mm. about, like, inspiring you to do better, but helping you mm. to understand yourself. I think there's a lot of people, because of the fact mm. that no one educates us that well on, like, psychology yeah. or understanding our place in the world or, like, what the hell's going on, because both our teachers and parents don't really understand that shit. Like, mm -hmm. we need art in order to show us, like, what the hell's going on in my mind? Like, why do I feel this okay. way? Are there other people who feel this way? Do other people Like, for understand? me, obviously, like, Ger Gurren Lagann was, like, a clarifying vision of, yeah. like, something important and, to me. So, okay. And okay. I think when you can package that in, a, in an aesthetic that, re like, okay, Gurren Lagann mm. is the same story that's been told a thousand fucking times. It's a hero's Absolutely. journey narrative. But, Absolutely. like, it's in an aesthetic that resonates with the specific type of person that is the two of mm. us, you know? Like, yep. guys yep. who currently are in, like, their late 20s. 20s who were probably in their late teens when the show came out and mm -hmm. it had like a massive impact because it's like this is the bombastic over the top epic thing like style and hyper masculine style that was big in mm -hmm. the late 2000s fucking it came out like a year after 300 you know like this right. is what right. we wanted was like sloganeering bi uh, bare chested like <laughs> dudes fucking punching each other and um yeah Dude, so it was like the like perfect tasty fucking snacks is what we want <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. So that was like yeah, okay. the perfect, like the perfect delivery of this timeless message that everyone needs to hear in order to grow up. But like for us, this is the aesthetic that mattered, the one that resonated with us because we're from that generation, you know? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm totally happy to like, uh, let's give everyone whatever aesthetic they personally need to become a better person. Whatever yeah. the delivery package needs to be for people to understand the message, I am all for figuring out what it is and exploring it and i think to your point you're saying that like i mean we don't exactly we can't like identify this shit which is why we need people to go out there and make art so that people will yeah. feel that there's lots of stuff they can resonate with and they can seek it out and enjoy it um yeah okay that's a pretty reasonable point i don't know sometimes i feel like art is just a big fucking scam sometimes i feel Very like well art doesn't okay. actually do anything and yeah. it's all just uh yeah. you know it's all just crap that makes you feel good in the moment and mm. uh people are just being tricked into thinking it's important what do you guys think about I that? Definitely I definitely agree point. with I, you, but like, I, I, I don't, it's it's I, all I, a matter I, of like, how do we quantify it? Like, how I can't yeah. fucking. There's no stat sheet that tells me like how many people I've inspired. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. I don't have the analytics for that. You know, I don't have the uh, net good think, on the I world analytics. At, at, in 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 some way, somebody making a living off of art mm -hmm. uh, is worth it for at least the people who know the artists and are friends with them. Because yeah. then that improves their well, I mean, life. Making a living off of art, experience. I think, is like, I mean, at the very least, I'm stimulating the economy in a way I wouldn't be if I wasn't doing anything, you know? Yeah, that's true. Only if, you're, I, only I, if you're putting it, it back. Oh, ben, I'm putting it back. I, 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 I agree with you so much in the fact that it is just appeal. It, it is just that you are appealing to people and they like what you have made. There is no inherent you know, responsibility for art to inspire to do any real world, real world things that is not intrinsic to art. That is that, that is well, what has I, to happen. I would, I would never say that artists have to do that. I would never say that, but I would think like the most valuable art or perhaps even the only art that is actually valuable does do that, I guess would be my point. 
Uh, well, uh, it, sure. I, I would I would just say that where where I where I disagree with you, Ben, is that uh, I don't think it's just in the moment. I think uh, if you make good art, people will remember it for a long time. And as I've said before in the in the sex hmm. part of this, I think uh, fleeting highs are the most despicable of highs. Well, well, and if it can just last a long time, then I think that's more valuable. Here's here's my problem. Mm. I think that generally, okay, art can inspire people, but I feel like in general, what it mainly inspires people to do is to make more art. Which, mm. if if it's just like a big mm. self self inflicting loop, a big like you know a self perpetuating cycle of art inspiring more art, hey, but the art itself is not really getting us anywhere. I mean, you can say that, but like literally every scientist talks about how they were inspired by Star Trek. That's like, a reasonable point. Everybody, it's a reasonable point. I but think it's there not are some... like all the art that's out there is inspiring well, people to become scientists. No, that's true. But like, we gotta yeah. throw enough darts at the wall until somebody's thing sticks. Like, that, how I many sci-fi franchises existed before Star Trek? Like, was the one that made everybody fucking want to do that? Unpopular shit, you know? mm. opinion. Mm. When mm. I hear like someone like I don't know, fucking Neil deGrasse Tyson be like, "Yeah, I was I love Flash Gordon so much as a kid that I went into mm. physics and space and astronomy." I roll my eyes so fucking hard. What? Why? Be- because it's dumb. fake shit. Because that's what do you like mean fake, fake fictional shit. And like, <sighs> real science is boring. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, but that's. I mean, and I don't well, get it. I don't know. I just I don't quite it, get the like. How can like how like like okay like Flash I mean, it Gordon depends on what maybe you make space look really cool, but then you grow up and you you're studying real space and it's not like Flash Gordon. I don't know how that I don't know I how mean, that could possibly inspire it, like a real lifelong interest ben, and fascination enough to sustain like a real career. I feel like ben, those you don't people have to maintain the probably had the, the original interest I, in, 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 already. Like maybe I, they probably would have been inclined to do that anyway. And Flash Gordon just happened to be the thing I, that like at that moment I, got them to take notice of it i don't know if i agree with that hold on i I gotta okay sure just like i'm thinking about because um my friend ghost lightning got into tennis because he watched prince of tennis like that show Mm -hmm. like watching it marathoning it with his wife made them want to get into tennis the thing is that once they got into tennis and they started watching real tennis they quickly realized that that show is like utterly nonsense like it is ridiculous to do with the real sport (laughs) but they ended up loving real tennis and it what actually happened is they just thought the Prince of Tennis was dog shit, but they love the sport. Like now they just watch fucking baby steps and like and, and real actual tennis matches and like have fun with it. So like it's mm-hmm. not that Flash Gordon was a good representation of science. It's that once they started doing science, they realized it was great. And there's so many people who have the opposite. Like there's so many people who try to get into something because they liked this show and then they realize it's not like that. Like there was a huge boom in people trying to get into crime scene investigations after CSI got popular. Popular, but like yeah, once you yeah. actually start up that course load, it is not easy. Dude, so, did you hear? Did you, you know. see? There's like a uh, there's a fucking uh, I forgot. I think it was the Canadian government uh, like posted a notice saying please stop applying for uh, like uh, crime scene investigation degrees. We have too many people. Like you can't <laughs> get a job. Please stop. Like the shows are just too popular. It's How? Okay, okay. Let's market. let's take I it fucking for granted po- that like. A show or something can inspire. Mm-hmm. By the like, way, hippo like can be really can, can be given like, like can be credited as like the reason why someone gets into some important practical field like science or engineering. Let's just accept that as true. Um, how okay? Even if that's happening, how do we know that the number of those cases aren't far outnumbered by people who like maybe would have gone into a real field, but instead spent their life just fucking around on the internet, just spent spent their life drawing some art well, and maybe ben, entertaining I, some people, I, but I, not I, that's really what accomplishing I worry about. anything. I, I think we're being really fucking narrow minded in what we view as I don't know what the word just positive. Mm. Be, uh, I don't, okay, I'm somewhat being a devil's advocate being, right now, by the way. Being alive mm-hmm. is good and enjoying breathing and being good. Yeah. I, I, be, no. Is, be, no. W- Incorrect. <laughs> I, 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 I'm Enough. A of, of, of culture and having a heart and a soul and a dick and a brain. Okay. And, and yeah. enjo- enjoying being... It living and talking to your fellow humans and feeling emotion and conversing. With Munchie, other this is all bullshit. I don't no, care about it all. No, it's no, all I waste totally agree. Like, I, th- I do th- think th- that just wh- like wh- enjoyment itself is like sufficient end in and of itself for a thing th- to be important. I agree. Li- 
What, yeah. literally, what is the point of advancing human civilization if human okay. civilization uh, is just boring and nothing uh, and no okay. one cares? Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. Uh, there, there's, there's a distinction here. I do actually think there is an inherent good in human life and human, like, happiness and pleasure. I, 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 I do believe that. Um, but... I would say that there is I, – I, here's where I would – when rarely – one of the rare times I would use the word objective. I would think it is objectively better if there is more happiness – like more people and more enjoyment and more happiness. And I just, like I think the way to get there is to constantly be progressing from lifetime to lifetime, you know, generation to generation, to be working towards expanding the circle of how much happiness, you know, uh, knowledge – and pleasure there is in the world. You know, obviously, every life the, should the have not too it, much pleasure. I, I, I don't understand how you think that, that like, like, the, like, well, well, here, I, Munchie, I guess, me, I, this is really simple. what here. you think. Okay, okay. go. Yeah, okay, okay. He, he, it's very simple. If you have one person just living a life, you know, normal level of happiness, normal level of sadness, they live their life and they die, as opposed to two people both have a normal level of happiness, generally pretty happy lives. They both live and they both die. Which of those is objectively a better universe? Like, where has more good happened? I have a rebuttal I, I, to this, I but I'll let you finish. I don't with more people being happy is better. Okay. I'm saying, where do you think the happiness comes from? Where do you think this happiness is it, being it, it does. It does come from the subjective experience of being alive. That is true. That is yeah, true. It, it, it comes from culture. It comes from being in a society mm -hmm. and being in a civilization. I, like, like mm -hmm. the point of progressing civilization is that there is more civilization and culture and humans. But here's what I don't like. I, I would not be satisfied with the idea of like we keep the exact same number of human beings that are alive right now on the planet earth and we just like stay I, right here and everyone's like happy I, I don't know where this idea i don't know who you're responding to with this i don't know no one's i think saying what, what nate is trying to say is that if all we do is worry about art then everyone mm -hmm. just becomes an artist. We're not worried about expanding the, the civilization, going out this, to space, and all that shit. This is not. This is not. Is is sex all good or is sex all bad? This is not. Do we only focus on culture or do we only focus? Well, on I, I, I just don't think there's any disagreement here, and I don't know why you're taking the attitude like we do disagree. Like, what is your issue with what I have be, said? Be, be, not not with what you have said. I, mm -hmm. I I just thought that we were being like 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 Ben was talking about how like you know oh it's, it's all fucking scam like mm -hmm. sh like sure like I don't think we need to be discussing whether whether art has any like intrinsic like objective value here. Is that I mean, not you know, a fair discussion to have? But because I just think it's it, it's 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 narrow minded. It's it, it it's not. There's no. Well, sounds like you're it sounds like you're just taking no a position benefit. in that discussion, which is fine. Which is having the discussion well, the, well okay i'm i'm okay sure that, that this is my opinion then in this discussion this is what i'm presenting okay is that okay. i think that I, <laughs> I, is i think that art is important and i think that it, it doesn't have and ben to disagrees. have ob hey. objective hey, uh, do we, value do we want to answer another question yeah let's go to another one <laughs> all right fine. let's do it um Okay. Munchie's been disproved. He has been proved yeah, incorrect. Yeah, oh, so let's this, move on. I'm ready to a, move on. This is a question I, I'm, I'm going to choose to interpret a certain way. The guy okay. says the guy's name is Lord, Legend of the Galactic Heroes sucks. Space Dandy wins. That's his name. <laughs> okay. um, his question is, what would your real life theme be? And I've chosen to interpret this mm. as in your theme, like as if you were a work of art. What is your theme? I, I think he means musical theme. But yeah, okay. But that's not, I was thinking, it's, and it's not nearly okay, as right, interesting. Fair mm. enough. Like the motif of your life. Yeah. Yeah. What is what is your theme? Mine... How much I can fuck. How many sluts I can fuck. Uh, I that is a, that is a great question. The theme. Uh, the theme of my life would definitely be utilitarian progress. I know it's boring. I know it's obvious, but that's like what it is. So yeah. you know, fuck you. Mine uh, maybe some, some definitely... elements of masculinity. I don't know. Whatever. Did you, say, did you say toxic masculinity? No, no I said that... some themes <laughs> of masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> he he loves it. Oh, that's masculinity. what it is. That's what it is. All right. All right. Go hey, on. hey, is, to is toxic masculinity real? Let's talk about to that. Okay. Toxic masculinity is just the idea that masculinity is inherently, like, bad. It is no. inherently no, it's bad. Not. No, 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 no. I, I don't think not. that. It, it, toxic not masculinity is when a, someone is being toxic in a way that is related to their masculinity, yes. I think. Yes. Like, uh, well, uh. I don't know. Well, okay. Let's see what can, Urban Dictionary. Can, can, Let me just read the Urban Dictionary real quick. Be destructive. Why did we? Why are we talking L listen. about this? <laughs> I don't know, but listen, <laughs> listen. Toxic masculinity: a social term that describes narrow, rep repressive type of ideas about the male gender role that defines masculinity as exaggerated masculine traits like being violent, unemotional, sexually aggressive, and so forth. 
also I mean, suggests that men who act too emotional maybe aren't violent enough or don't do all of these. What the fuck is this? I don't understand this definition. This is terrible. Yeah, that's very confusing. This is not helping me. Um, uh, well, whatever. the theme of my life would probably be like um, yeah. trying to be understood, like a desperation mm. for like a, like a mutual understanding or something like that. Okay. The okay. theme of my life would probably be like, I don't know, um, freedom, independence, I guess, you know, living, just living on Do my own terms. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds about right. Which is I great, say, by the way. I, w- the I would best say theme. irony, retrospection, fun. <laughs> hmm. I feel like you're, I mean, you're like the most sincere person I know. So how is irony a theme of your life? He's pretty ironic too, though. He's like post-ironic, though. Yeah, that's kind of true. Because the way that I express my my inner emotions is presenting them not as, as, you know, the nuanced or or the most, you know, gently put things in the world. I I progress them to to an insane degree and make them appear foolish, even though they, they are how I feel. I don't know if I call that. I do not express my sincere thoughts sincerely. Uh, by the I way, would have I, your theme was performance. Performance works too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Th- 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 that's also good. I, 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 would pro- I would probably, I would probably say irony, performance, fun. I, I just want to, by the way, read this. I think irony is important to, to everything that I do. I feel like I left that thread hanging. I, I just looked up the <clears throat> definition of toxic masculinity on Wikipedia, which okay. which is much clearer. It's much clear. It's just the concept of toxic, uh, toxic masculinity used in psychology to describe certain traditional male norms of behavior in the United States and Europe that are associated with so harm to it. society and men themselves. So, okay, much clearer. It's just saying some aspects of socially yeah, conceived a, masculinity toxic, toxic are bad. Toxic masculinity is just the bad kinds. Yeah, but like, who basically. defines bad and good? Well, like, I mean, yeah, that's the kicker. Like, you, like, it, I guess yeah. it would be up to the individual to decide what is and is not toxic. I have a beholder. Yeah, okay. And I, I guess I'd say there's a problem in here. I don't know. Like, masculinity is another form of identitarianism to like define yourself as like masculine. So I guess that's kind of I don't know. I don't really see a lot of value in doing that either. But whatever. It's just good to run your shit. Right. We only got know. one more good question left. That okay. I found your mm-hmm. boy Liam asks hmm. uh good remedies for the worst days with a good question pussy. mark at the end good pussy hmm. my dude that is pretty I like to good draw. remedy drawing drawing is good Working oh i would literally good. say exercise i would literally say exercise and here's why first of all exercise has a actual physiological uh positive stimulus once you're done with it you just feel good and then yeah. also if your day is shit you probably feel like oh no i fucked up everything everything's going bad to to obtain mastery over something in your life, like to exercise and feel like I did it, like I have control over this, I yeah. am good. It it just makes you feel like better about your life. And I stuff, was gonna so. say, I was gonna like for kind of the same reasons. I was gonna say mm. just accomplishing something. Like yeah, ha- like for yeah. one, ha- you have to have a goal. Like you mm-hmm, have to have yeah. something you're mm-hmm. working towards. Like making making some progress, even a little bit of progress on it, like before bed Excellent or point. something, will make you feel like it, your day wasn't completely wasted. That's so true. That is so true. <laughs> Nay, on exercise, and, mm. and one specific thing that, that, that I don't do a lot, but I should do because every time I do it, I absolutely love it. I love jelking. You talk about jelking, my dude. Yeah, Hell jel- yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was that was me going. <laughs> what the fuck is yeah. jelking? <laughs> Je- okay, you jelk. You oh my god! Know? Oh my you don't god! Know the secret? We have we have to do the jelk cast next week. But I'll just oh give you the, it, it's oh, just yeah. did you did you grasp your hors d'oeuvre as hard as you can? Grasp your hors d'oeuvre as hard as you can. Yes, my and hors pull d'oeuvre? pull for the fucking life of yourself. Okay, fuck it is literally where you 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 do like little pulls on your dick as an as an exercise to like tear it a little bit so that it gets yeah. bigger. It is an exercise what to make fuck? your dick bigger. Yeah, it's yeah. working, it's what working it is. out to lengthen what? your dick. That's what it is. It's what it is. It, it's it it work? Like they can't and work. I gotta say, no, I mean, it, no. It gets <laughs> results. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. What was I saying? I was saying something. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah. He, he, a good he, joke, my dude. 
it's yellow. That, that I fucking that that happened to me earlier today. That it has changed my life. I'm just gonna do this every day now. Okay. The, okay. There, there's an app like you can get on your phone called Brain.fm, and it's some like like hmm. weird. I I think real science, but it might be pseudoscience. science. They, they they have tracks of music that that they claim like changes. You know, they they, they put your brain in a mood, so you can have your brain focus. You can have your brain go to sleep. You can have your brain relax. Mm-hmm. So so it puts your brain in different moods. So I put on the focus track on Brain.fm, and I went for a walk. And I swear Swear to God, this has enhanced my my perception tenfold. Hmm. I was aware of everything that fucking moved. I was inside of the fucking earth, and I was feeling every <laughs> single vibration and nuance on the fucking earth's field. I was one with all of God's children. I was walking from just from my, my house to my local 7-Eleven, and I had this fucking music on, and I was aware of every, like, change of the light or any, like, homeless person out of the corner of my eye. I, I, I was more alert than I'd ever been in my entire fucking life. It fucked me up, and it was insane. I highly recommend everyone. And I also got this, this awesome. monster energy juice, and it was the best fucking drink I've ever had in my life. Pipeline punch is good. I definitely That's... would like to try doing that. Yeah, uh, dude, we can do it together at Ragcon. I, I, all of you have great. Those are all great remedies. Mine mm-hmm. is simply a change up game. Like just change things, change something about what you're doing. It could be any of the things that you guys just said. But like generally, if I find myself like going down a dark path in my mind, the mm-hmm. best way out is to just do something totally different from what I'm doing. Like listen to, for me, um, if I don't have access to good pussy, like Nate said, um, mm-hmm. podcasts are like a great out. I would just like, if I felt funky or like I was just pissed off at the internet, I would just listen to the dick show and play a video game. And it's like, I don't have to think, I don't have to be myself. I could just listen to the dick show and just listen to him talk. And I don't have to think about my problems. And I can just play a video game and be mm-hmm. somebody else for a little while, you know, and like forget sure. about whatever was going on with me, you know, or, I or guess put on some a- better music that's like more, you know, like, like Munchie said with mm-hmm. that, I, I don't have that program, but like when I feel bad, sometimes I'll just like throw on Anamanaguchi and try to get something done. Cause like, it'll just give you energy. Mm-hmm. Uh, accomplishing something is definitely, I think, the the best like long term solution. Like that's a that's oh, yeah. a good feeling that you'll feel like into the future. But, uh, but if I just the reason, want to, though, that you're having the worst day is that you can't accomplish anything. That's usually probably the case. true. Yeah. Probably true. Uh, but the the best like. But just my most pleasurable thing I do in my life is to sit back, put on a movie I love. I, I usually, the Godfather movies are like my go-to ones for this. And I'm oh, playing, yeah. a, and then I'm also playing a video game while I'm like watching slash listening to a movie I love Nate, that I've seen a thousand times. Nate, are you aware? Is it fair to say you just want to play video games every I night, every day? I just want to play video Nate, games. Are you uh, wait, aware uh, of the uh, Casey uh, Neistat Godfather screensaver thing that he's got? I am, and I love it, and yeah, I love it. I think it's super cool. For, for the audience who doesn't know... Casey Neistat has a monitor that just at all times is playing a constant loop of Godfather 1 and 2. I, I've said it before. Oh, not Godfather 3. I was actually going to ask about that. If yeah, you no, felt the same the about it. I actually love Godfather 3 almost as much as the other ones. And people who shit on Godfather 3 are fucking idiots. Um, but uh, uh, I, whatever. I don't fuck what I was going to say. Uh, but Gib's back. Gib, what do you do oh, yes. when your day ain't going right and you want it to feel good? If you want to fix a shitty day. Uh, a shitty day? Mm-hmm. Um, I usually just try to create something, distract myself with work. Mm-hmm. But if if work and what I've been trying to make is the the problem, mm-hmm. then I usually curl up into a ball <laughs> and cry. <laughs> does that help? Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, uh, I, I, but it's I, just I, what I he through, does I through, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I go through many crises. Uh, <laughs> when, when uh, I like I to rapidly through, like, cycle wave. through mental crises. It really helps yeah. me, you know, work out the. And kinks. I, I, okay. I, 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 I always end up at the point where it's like, wait, nobody cares about my problems maybe mm. i should shut up and then i do and then it's great if you get okay. bored of one crisis you can just switch to another yeah that's so, true when you're feeling down like this why don't you talk to your friends why don't you talk to your friends about that why don't you just come on uh, mosey on over gay uh, i really want a, a procrastinator it's, it's, okay. animated of like of when ben said you just switch from one crisis to another of someone like in an arcade switching between two different time crisis machines because it's all they have <laughs> in the fucking arcades <laughs> You know? Uh, oh, when, that'd be good. When I'm feeling down, it it, 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 just, it just feels like I don't like to bother friends with that, especially yeah. since I have done it multiple times before, and I will probably do it multiple times in the future. It is, it's and an I, important And it thing. always ends in, 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 in the same way. 
that I realized yeah. that uh, nobody needs to hear this. I just need to move on. It's a real it, thing that we got to recognize about like the people around us. Like annoying, we, our, our no, friends annoying. will tell us, oh, you can come to me with anything. You can tell me blah, blah, blah. Like I'm always yeah. here for you. But nobody actually wants to hear about how sad you are over and over again. Nobody wants that. Uh, yep. I recognize that. And, you know, if someone comes to me and just is complaining and like if, if most of my experience of a certain person is that they're just sad and complaining, like I will not enjoy hanging out with them it'll just be yeah. like well it's like I mean, if they're your friend if they're if they're your friend they'll do it for you they'll listen to you if you need an ear but if yeah. like but if you're like doing it all the time and you're like really yeah, you know taking mm -hmm. up a lot of their time with it's, like some sad shit yeah like why would I, they continue like, what do they get out of it I think, well, here's the, the thing with it is like mm -hmm. if you're a good friend you'll listen to your friend and, and help them through whatever they're going through. Mm -hmm. But if that friend, the person who is going through things, is a good friend, they will realize that they, they don't, they themselves. shouldn't, they, they, they yeah. need to fix themselves oh, before they just lay yeah. it all on someone I mean, else. ultimately, it's, it's, yes. Ultimately, it is your responsibility to fix your own shit. But, like, uh, of course. Like, I would, if any of you guys came to me, like, as a one-time thing, just, just as an example, and just said, yeah. like, dude, I'm just really sad about this, of course I'd be happy to listen. I mean, everybody but, needs, you know, I got everybody a needs story. a sympathetic ear from time to time. I got a story yeah. for that, because, like, one uh -huh. of my old friends, like, he was that guy who would, like, come and, you know, and cry about his life all the time. And, mm -hmm. like, everybody in my group of friends is, like, like smart and good at giving advice. And this mm. guy is probably the dumbest guy I know out of out of the people <laughs> who hang out with our friends. So like he's constantly whining and people are constantly trying to give him advice and he just wouldn't fucking follow anybody's advice and he'd come yeah. to you yeah. crying the next day and you're like, "Dude, I already told you what That's to do." The thing. Like That's if you're not going to do it, fuck I, you. I'll agree you know? with that. I I I I I have I will a also say though, I guess. What, what were you going to say, Gib? Mm -hmm. I, I I will say that usually it, when it comes to advice, like, I get advice, and it's usually advice that I agree with, yeah. but it's, it, it's not knowing what to do that's the problem. It's never knowing what to do, it's just doing yeah, the and, thing. And, and yeah, and also, on the so perspective asking of for the... advice is kind of masturbatory or, or like, a waste yeah, of time that's definitely to give true. or ask for advice. And if, plus, if, like... At least if you know what you're doing. If you, if you, like... I mean, anyone who comes to me and, like, asks for my help about anything, I will, like, immediately pull out the fucking spreadsheet and attempt to immediately solve the issue, and I don't right. give a fuck what your excuses are i will identify the blockages i will figure out ways to circumvent them like anyone who comes to me with a problem and i care enough about you we will solve it then and there we will identify the ways to do it but a lot of people don't actually want that a lot of people just want a sympathetic ear and i am the wrong guy for that so yes, if that's yeah. what you're looking for that's not me that is not me so, uh, yeah, you know, just that. Some, like, I, it, you should go to who you want. Like, if you just want someone to... Uh, honestly, like, 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 women do this more. Like, my girlfriend is definitely like this. She just wants me to, like, listen to her sad day. Whenever she tells me about, like, problems, I'm just like, I'm break it out of the spreadsheet. Let's fix it right now. Identify yeah. the problems. Let's what identify is, the solutions. What do you solutions, mean by spreadsheet? Like, what, are, what are you using a spreadsheet <laughs> to help with in this scenario? Well, uh, spreadsheets are... All, okay, making lists he's, he's talking is about, essential. like, laying out the facts. Okay. Yeah, that's what I mean. But I literally use spreadsheets I for like everything. Make, make list, I <laughs> oh, okay, I didn't. Yeah, think no, you meant I'm literally talking about spreadsheets. Like spreadsheet, guys. Yeah. I, I, my job has awakened me to how spreadsheets are the only thing that matter in this world. <laughs> they are the only thing that matters at all. A human experience well, with, is subjective. A fucking Excel spreadsheets are ab are absolute. They are it's absolute. What, I know exactly what you're talking <laughs> about because when I when I'm trying to give advice, there's usually either a list or like a graph of some kind involved. Like yeah. th there's yeah. a lot there's of me making graphs single... with my hands when I'm trying the... to explain what somebody should do. With right. Life. There's there's not a single greater rush of dopamine that let rushes for through my loins <laughs> rather than when I open up a new Google Doc. That is the height <laughs> of my fucking day. Also, also, just just to close this off, mm -hmm. I I don't disagree with any of what I just said. I I, yeah. I I feel like like I I I'm down to you know talk whenever. I I will just say I I, I try and make it a real point to not make it. I, I want to hear about everyone's you know sad days, but I want to make it known that I'm not letting them become complacent or just like I don't know I don't know how to say this correctly, but I don't want them to know that like it's a uh, I'm just gonna let them like you will listen to them all, all day, yeah. but you would rather they not think that you're not trying to help them. Like you no, like, I I, mm. I, just, I just mean that I don't want them to be too. 
I want them to ha- I want them to have a fire under their ass to yeah, fix their yeah. problem. I I don't want them to just think that I like. It's not that I. You don't want to placate them. Upset. You don't want to placate them. It just let yeah, them exactly. languish. It, it, yeah, it, it, Nate, exactly. Perfect. Mm-hmm. It's like I, it's, I, I'll listen I, to you I, at I all, all times, all but time. you're not allowed to know that. Like you know. Like, don't I'll, tell I'll listen, her I'll, it's, it's I'll listen to everyone all the time, but I want to help them first and foremost. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to always just be like, oh, I'm sorry, Pat, Pat, there, there. I want to give them advice and I want them to fix what is happening. I don't want to just, I, I don't want to just be the guy I, you that know, just I, is there. I am, my problems. life has come to a certain point where I've only got so much time. And, like, people who want to come to me with their problems, like, if I care about you, I'll listen. But listen, buddy, I'm budgeting you 20 minutes of my time to fix your fucking problem or to, like, listen to you complain about it. That's what you got. Use it how you want. But then I'm out of here because I got shit to do. And I'm not going to just sit here all day and, you know, listen to your complaints. And maybe that makes me a bad person. I call it, like, being a productive person who who optimizes his usage of his time because I have so little to spare. Uh, it's just, you know, that's how my life is now. And that's how I, I'm going to be. I, I think... I think I'm the same as you, Nate. I'm just more yeah. lenient with the times. I, th- I think I think we're I both, mean, we want uh, we want to get it to be done. N- not want, not to we, like we, shit on you or anything. It's just like I, I probably have like, just less time to spare because I've got a full time job well, and sure. YouTube yeah, stuff. So it, I, like that's forced me to be very stringent with how I use my time. So sure. you know, you know, just saying, just yeah. saying. I think we're over the two hour mark here. That, that was good though, man. I really stuff. enjoyed that. Those oh, are you good know what? Questions. Could, that, it was yeah, just great like questions, everybody. I don't want to give the questioners too much credit. (laughs) Could I close this out, everybody, with an important message on on sex and relationships and everything from my hero, Matt Pat. All right. Matt Pat's got the (laughs) words of wisdoms we need to go by. So just forget everything we just said. Only listen to these words. Okay, here we go. Real quote uh, from February 9th, uh, 2018. You can go find this at 3.55 p.m. Whenever I see people lined up outside a club on Friday night, I just think... Look at these poor people who don't know video games exist. That really just, that's how I feel about sex. That is how I, that's some, that's the. (laughs) Okay. He solved it. He solved it. (laughs) All right. Thank you, Matt Pat. Uh, that, that was our special guest for the day, Matt Pat. Uh, thanks for listening to the PCP featuring Matt Pat, everybody. F- follow, it was a great follow time. Follow him at mattpat.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I th- yeah, that's it, everybody. Hey, hey, everybody. Uh, we were getting those questions from the bonus lounge, which you can check out if you go to patreon.com slash the procrastinators. One dollar gets you into the bonus lounge with all that goofy shit going on. And five dollars, of course, gets you access to the bonus episodes, including the new one that is out... That should be out by now, right? Yeah, it's out uh, like today or yesterday, and that is fucking Insomnia, the Insomnia oh, that cast. Was awesome. Oh, uh, we didn't sleep. That was like we my did favorite not sleep. bonus episode. It was so, dope. It was tight as fuck. One. I think we've been doing good lately. I think. We I think might we've been killing it, it, frankly. I, I, th- I think we might just be able to br- to bring it back. I think I, think I might, might just be able, be able to, to suck my own cock. <laughs> hey, and look, we got we got a personal Nate over here. We've got we got a brand new Nate in oh, the fucking yeah. show. <laughs> I'm nating it up. All right, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.